Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today, there's Errol and he's back, hey, feeling better. Yeah, it's I'm great back. to uh, have you back yeah. and uh, not be sick anymore. Yeah, it wasn't, I yeah. was wasn't doing too bad. It was just kind of gross. It was like yeah, you know, like I was feeling case. okay, but it's well, it's more like when you're blowing your nose every three seconds. I don't it's think like, James wants that. No, cats don't want it. People cats don't, don't want to hear that. that. No but uh, it's better when you're at a hundred percent. Yeah. And we're gonna be playing some Jaguar games today. Nice. Four of them. People have been busy in the Jaguar community with some games. Uh, the games today that we're gonna be playing are a Shoot 'Em Up 3D by Dr. Typo. Nice. Where Is It by Eric M. Starfighter by David Cummings. And The Hunt by William Thorpe. Bit Jag. Um, thank you for joining us. And thank you to the Twitch subscribers who are scrolling. Side Ireland, right there. Al the Fur, Android, Atari, Armscar, Coder, Atari, Eight Hundred, Excel, Rules, Atari, Ninety Seven, Four, Atari, Age, Beef, Supreme, Beer, Poke Up, Buffalo, Pinball, Chelsea, Donny Mal, Charles Wheel, and Chitlala, Cubanismo, Zero to Reboot, Dan, if you see Drexel, Dark, Drifting, Snow, Dark, Mook, House, Gamma, Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Roger, Rapper, Johnny, WC, Carl G. Crocko, Gevelt, for Land of Express, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mike Muse, Mike. Soul, Mike Latow, Mr. Zunderwood, Mr. Fix, Nathan the Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgia, Pack Rack, Coagar, 70, Rendy Ghost, Repentless, VG, Revan, Tooley, Rodcaster, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spinley, S. Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Dion, K, Vexer, X, Vitoko, VG, Double Down, and X, Ken X. And if you'd like to support the show, like BR Pocock did just before we started, you can hit subscribe and keep these cats well fed in treats be heroes yes. in our eyes be the hero in the cat's eyes as well pull the sword from the stone don it become a, a subscribing <laughs> member gets the sword oh my god oh, you yeah. want, I, that's what you want <laughs> that's what you want to be it's what you want to strive to be uh we do have a poll topic today when did you get a jaguar I can just tell you right now. Uh, was, you're probably uh, number five. Um, uh, number one, day one, November twenty third, nineteen ninety three. You were in line, right? Dude, I was. I was there. You were. You were I waiting was, in the cold. I pulled out my soother. I tossed it on the ground. I <laughs> this ran is forward. this is this console for me. <laughs> this is my shit. <laughs> I'm a Jaguar baby. Uh, um, I was uh, born for one thing: jag, <laughs> jag, jagging out. Uh, two, 1993 to 1998, which is during the time of the games coming out, the original games. It was actually not on the shelf in 96. That's the end of its retail life. But the games can continue to be released until 98. And then post-release, 1999 to 2023, which is modern day. Or four, never had one, um, but interested, possibly. Um, want one. And number five, never had one, not interested. I probably put myself in the four category, honestly. I'd be possibly I, interested. Yeah, in like it. I, yeah. I don't want to say I'm not interested because I, I am. I think it's like any any I retro consoles are fascinating to me, and like yeah. I am. It's I, I think I don't know if I'd be like it would be the first thing I'd buy, but I don't. I can't say that I'm not interested. Right. Yeah. There's lots of. I, I think the most fascinating thing about the retro consoles is the type of games that each console dictates and the style of them, the look of them, right. the feel of them, they're all different because different architecture, different controllers, uh, different ability to display like 3D, non-3D, scaling sprites, like all these things really give a feel, a certain feel to games. And we were just upstairs and, <laughs> and I had the N64 out from the, still from last yeah. uh, weekend's gaming or two weekends ago, gaming night. And uh, Erlen's like, that's, that's my childhood. Yeah. Right. This is like the, the three <laughs> handles. It's like, which I only like, have two. <laughs> like, how does this, and the, like the rumble pack that you can clunk <laughs> in, you know? Yeah, stuff. exactly. The, even the add-ons or the unique controllers that came with the system. It's like, oh, it has an analog stick. You can do certain things with analog sticks. Or a trigger button. It's like, well, that dictates, oh, I'm going to aim on things on the screen. And, like, consoles that only had 
uh, a digital joystick are not going to make the same games as, as an analog yeah and uh, a system i'm sure you guys all relate to this this like that the moment in your life where like a game cost a fucking quarter every time <laughs> even yes. just even to just like and you had to figure it out you're like on the clock yeah. always and watch watching other people play it then you play it and you go oh, i died in two and seconds goddamn, but when you get your first home console mm. you're like oh my god it's limitless and that was my n64 is the first home console so it was just like blew my brain open to think that because i only yeah. ever played arcade and those kind of uh, things okay and yeah. i like at friends places they might have like an n64 or like a like I, an nes those kinds of things but yeah. i never had one that i could play seemingly infinitely and, and was that, that your first console that was oh, and okay. i bought it actually like i saved uh, up with uh, all my friggin like, makes it even sweeter yeah <laughs> and I, and, it, and what was interesting is it came with this like Star Wars pod racing game because oh, okay. there was one yep. that was there was the regular version and then you could they, they couldn't sell these pod racing versions because <laughs> I don't think anyone really wanted it so, yeah. um, so uh, now they're collectible of course but of course like, any um, non-normal one but it was like on discount so I could buy that cheaper oh, so I, no. I bought because it's the same thing and so that was my, my and every console. time you booted it up you said now this is pod racing <laughs> and, I, and then I <laughs> spinning that's a good trick and i just that's what i would do man every single time uh atari getting the shot to remind everyone i need treats yeah he's like i'm in the middle i need the yeah. treats um alan for i'm working at full capacity with 2600 stuff looked really hard and thirsty at the jag in 95 cubanismo says bought a saturn instead no regrets got one later all right best of both worlds if the CD had been out when I purchased, might have bought a Jag. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, because the CD add-on came out in 95. We just started playing some of the CD games on our retrospective yeah. playthrough because it's the 30th anniversary of the Jag uh, about a week ago. Yeah, I, I feel like there's that was a huge upgrade in terms of data storage, right? Going on to like a CD oh, compared to cartridge. Huge, and you, you can know. do so many different things. You can have full audio that's like super quality audio like particularly CD. that detail hey yeah. like and everybody hopped on of course the, the encoded movie bandwagon movie <laughs> intro bandwagon yeah. and it's like they were good enough and and the last show uh there was a highlander game oh, and yes. during while you play when you start booting it up it plays part of the highlander cartoon and of course youtube flagged it <laughs> when no. i posted it it was, it was fine uh, you did, uh, I didn't get a copyright strike or anything. Yeah. I mean, it was copyrighted, but um, yeah. And so you could afford to put those extra things on. So that kind of changed the, the landscape of yeah. what games look like or what they could represent. Because on 2600, all you got was the cover. It's like, oh my God, that looks awesome. And then you play the game. It's like, mm, it's a little, di same. little different between the concept art <laughs> of the cover and the. A <laughs> little bit, especially way back then. And charming in, in, in the in the good ways and terrible in the bad ways. <laughs> That's right. Uh, okay, so uh, this is pretty interesting news for the 2600 plus. Um, Batari posted this this morning. Um, he said, I have to say, I believe it's possible for the 2600 plus to support a menu driven multi cart. That's really interesting. Um, however, changes to the firmware on the 2600 plus are necessary yes definitely it doesn't need to interact with the cart in real time but it does need to be more interactive than it currently is um yeah so a multi-cart you plug it in and it has to at least read say what's off the sd card and then display a menu so it doesn't have to read constantly off the card maybe once in a while it needs to go to the card um or to the cartridge uh, and he says either way i have other things i'm working on that should allow the harmony cart to work on the 2600 with more than just a single image at a time which may even work without major changes to the 2600 firmware so it looks like batari is going to update the harmony cart to at least serve up maybe a, a single image of the menu and the the games that you could play and then maybe work with uh the play on the people who put out the 2600 plus to like go back and read again like almost trigger no i think what maybe he's doing i just thought of this mm -hmm. 
is like every time you take out the cartridge and put back in the cartridge on a 2600 plus it triggers a new read of the cartridge so what i'm thinking possibly is what he'll get the harmony cart to do another read and then trigger the 2600 plus to go another cart just got inserted by like maybe dropping the uh, voltage line for a second and and tricking it into thinking there's a new cartridge coming on or another way is that you have to manually turn off the system and turn it back on and now the harmony cart has a new game loaded ready to go so, mm, so we got some new tech is what you're saying we got some new tech some new yeah. oh thrust uh, the, the 2600 is constantly reading the port ben said so oh that does make it a lot easier for the harmony cart um to do that if it's like reloads itself and then the 2600 plus is is like i said again tricked into reading it again and now it's got the new game loaded up so that's good reading or checking hmm oh we'll have to see we'll have to see when uh, the new uh, firmware comes out so hopefully the usability is extended a bit and and a multi-cart will be huge for the ability to play more games and we got the the seventh Aragorn chiming in as well. So that's, <laughs> well, it's good to know we've got, yep, you know. That is good. Aragorn zone. <laughs> well, one through six could cut it, but uh, <laughs> number seven's on the case. He's the, he's the lucky Aragorn. That's, that's what right. It is. He's in here. Rose to power hundreds of years later. Okay, we're going to get into the first game. Ooh. Shoot him up 3D by Dr. Typo. I'm going to go out on a limb and... Say this is a shooter game? I don't know. It might be. <laughs> there might and be some might shooting be 3D in this game. As well. <laughs> oh shit. And we'll be shooting up some things on the screen. Um but or it's a very misleading uh, art wooden title, yeah. we'll see. It's, it's games about cats, yeah. <laughs> it's just no shooting whatsoever. Fishing sim, we're like, yeah, no sim. <laughs> reel it in. Reel it in. I always thought uh, the driving controller would be a great interface for a fishing. Oh yeah. Game. Like you use the uh, trigger on on the uh, driving controller, and you can spin it one way or the other. Someone do that. Yeah. Somebody do that. That would be. You're so Nobody's right. I never thought yet. of that. Like. Yeah. You pull it in. You feel resistance on the screen. You have to let it out a bit. Reel it in. And you can do that with a joystick, turning it around and around. But, but dude, I think the spin. The spin would be perfect. You hold yeah. it on the side. And you oh feel it tactile. Yeah. That'd be so good. It's constantly checking for a cartridge present to be sure. Ah, uh, yes, that is true. It is constantly checking. It doesn't only check once when you turn it on. So it just has to be tricked into reading it from scratch again, like it's a new cartridge at a certain point. IDC says, I know within a second of removing the cart, the system shuts off the emulation, then goes to the game load failed until you insert the cart game back or a different one. Yeah. Stop ideas program. Yeah, maybe I'll make that one of my games. Fishing, fishing uh, <laughs> game for the. Yeah, I know. It's I a know. good. It's a good nudge for yeah, James. Thank you, thank you. It, it is constantly on my mind now that Thrust is uh, telling me to program. Um, so let's get into the first game. But this game is brand new. But he made another game called Shoot 'Em Up in 2012. Without the 3D. Dude, he's got his genre. He knows yeah. what he's doing. So we're going to take a look at that one first. Mm. And see how far he's come in the 11 years. So if you want to pick the first one, today's date with B. B is the primary cool. button. Right for this. And just go to shoot, shoot em, em up. up. 2012, January 15th. So let's go. Let's Load up that coffee. C-O-F. Oh, and I just got four grand. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All I had to do was push a button. Yep. There you go. Press it again. Anytime the A comes down. Uh, shoot em up. Code and design by Dr. Typo. Press 1 through 9 to start a level. Greetings to Atari Age people. So, uh, so I'm that's just try one. one, two, three. Yeah, just, just one. Move and shoot. Move and shoot. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, this is definitely a just hold it down. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, I always have uh, an issue with games that it's like, well, if you press it really fast, you can achieve this rate or and and don't give you the option for um holding it down it's just like oh you want me to manually press it a million times oh ran into the block i swear we played this on the show before 
but um, don't know. But we, I just wanted oh, to show this to show that same, he did. Same thing happened to me. Oh, you hit a block? But just because I was like maneuvering too quick, I just hit the it edge of the back, right? Very fast ship. Um, but I think that like uh, overall, if I didn't make that mistake, I feel You'd like still the be alive. difficulty <laughs> level is minimal. Not the highest, but that's okay. <laughs> yep. We have we have things flying. Actually, through. crash and crash, and then go to level nine. To see see how we'll see it. Yeah, see, see how crazy it gets. Hit those blocks. You can't go left and right. As oh, well. I can. F okay, I can do that as well. Yeah. So that is nice. But it's interesting. You can shoot through it, but you can't like fly through it. Your bullets are. That's okay. That's special. Okay. That's okay. Bullets. Uh, th they're Let's made of over. light. That's light speed. Oh, oh okay. shit. Okay, now this is a different whole other level. Now it's happening. Some Xboxes are coming. Oh, after okay. You. So that was that's the issue with these guys is they have a bit of a different flight path. Yeah. Like, oh. oh yeah 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 this yeah. is harder okay so that was that was 2000 this is, this is 2d yeah this that's is 2D. the 2d have, oh, you don't even need to say 2d that's oh, the default this is the 2d so let's get to the the brand new one shoot and em up. dr typo says here's a new shoot 'em up in 3d for the jaguar and not only is yep yeah, go for it not only is this in 3d it's actually in 3d oh. because there was a planned headset, 3D virtual reality headset planned for the Jaguar, which never got released. But uh, through emulation, you can now hook up a modern um, virtual reality headset oh, to your Oculus. computer Just yeah, in there. Oh. and play it through the emulator. So this brand new game supports virtual reality headsets on the PC so you can actually play this game in 3D. Log in, get your VR on. That's Let's right. Go. Um, press A to play. I might fighter just... aggressive. Be aware of shots. Mind, Mind damaging. damaging. Destroy this quickly. This is some good tips. Rock indestructible. <laughs> Instant death. Instant Dude, death. Dude, the fucking rock. Do not power up. So you want Ooh. the green ones. Okay, green is good. Increase shield and shooting rate. Sentinel. Harmless. Destroy this at will. If you feel like it. <laughs> okay, okay. So okay. green. It's good to know. Green. I gotta like yeah. if I see. Pick up the greens. Avoid or shoot everything else. Okay. Whoa, whoa, there's our minds. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so they're harmless, but I'm sure if you run into them, they're not uh, Yeah, like I feel like we can, te we can test. This is a see. short game that has been on the back burner for quite a while, but I decided to complete it thanks to the recent development of Big PMU. Uh, the game runs on a real Jag with skunk board. It should work on Jag GD, which it does. Uh, using the VR mode as explained in the README file, don't do it on a real Jag. Your view will be upside down and locked to the side. So Wait. Probably don't want to do that. A real Jag? We're not playing on a real Jag? We are. But okay. if you want to do the 3D virtual reality... Oh, okay. So, so check then, this out, dude. This is our upgrade. It's good nice. that I knew that, because otherwise I would be completely... Like, I'd have no idea. That's right. Because What's like... good? What's not? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and with this thing, it looks like I can shoot them, and they know I just have to no, dodge them. I think you have to dodge their bullets. Then. It looked like you shot one, but I'm not I, sure. I, yeah, I might have just... Evasive maneuvers! This might have been the option. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, your health. Uh, no! It's down in orange no! territory, so you need that green thing. Okay, I need it, I need it. Okay, okay, I got it, I yeah. think. Yeah, you did. It, okay, it okay, gave you a bunch okay, of power. Get, get this. Um, so in the readme it says, press A to start, playing at the menu, press the D-pad, move up and down, left and right, B to fire. Um, press option to VR view. Don't that un do that on a real jag. We will do it. We oh, are going to do it. you can't stop me. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do and what not to do. Uh, the game has an ending, so you can complete it rapidly if you're not too bad. Are you too bad? Instant death. <laughs> Those are instant deaths. We're going to find out right now. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, there's no way to destroy oh, the rock. Oh, so you have to you see what I mean? Like, I'm just no. blasting it. No, evasive maneuvers. But you can destroy the mines. The other problem with VR 3D on the Jaguar would have been have to render two times the perspectives. Yeah, so it would be like half the frame rate. Oh, now you're in the light blue. No, you're in the teal uh, level of uh, armor. Let's blow up this mine. Okay. Oh no, I just and flew have into its frame a... rate. So maybe a scaling shooter like Tempest would be okay, but something like Iron Soldier AVP would have vomit inducing with 3D. Dude, I feel like I'm like 
flying down the trenches of the Death Star, but it just That's keeps right. going. <laughs> you know, like it <laughs> Forever just keeps, and ever. You never just make it to the portal. keeps going. I'm like, where is the... Where's the exhaust port? Where is it? <laughs> it's, it you've been sent on a fool's errand. Uh, also, I... It, it never ceases to delight me. Just the infinite supply of ammunition <laughs> that shooters have. No! Oh, oh I thought that was I did well. death. That was. I you thought were, I was doing so well. You were like you had full health, but it's, it's like no, nah, no, it's, it's, death. it's the hard part. Still, Let's see if I can make it to the exhaust port. Oh, I think you will. The exhaust port is it's coming. <laughs> it's at the end of the run. Yeah, and um, uh, it's interesting because it's like an easy game, but then I just died, so it isn't. You know, <laughs> no, like I kind of had. I almost got. I got lulled into feeling invincible Ooh, until. Oh yeah! Uh, don't get too don't, don't get cocky, kid. Before the fall, <laughs> don't get cocky. Great shot, kids! One in a million. <laughs> oh. I know this has been said a million times, but it still would have been the greatest alternate ending if he. If he turned off that computer and missed. Oh, I had to go yes. home and they'd be like, why did you, like, we had the target we computer, the, We gave you the computer. <laughs> like, like, it does the work for you. Yeah, I thought I, I could do it. Like, I did I just thought I would just my home use my feelings. <laughs> Your feelings? We have all this tech. We're, we're literally, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be... And a Han Solo would be like, yeah, I told you it was a So many up people died for you to have this <laughs> opportunity and you just... Many Bothans had died. Is That's that what exactly. they are? Bothans? Is it Bothans? Something. To get you these plans. That's right. And you put them all to waste. <laughs> Luke! You trusted your feelings. This mistake number one. <laughs> Back to collecting uh, water on your yeah. desert planet. Back to whatever you do. <laughs> that friggin'. <laughs> Whining. Whining on Tatooine. That's what he does. Yeah, poor guy. <laughs> well, his family gets wouldn't you whine too? by... If flames. you're a water farmer on on a desert planet, oh, yeah, it's terrible. definitely it's definitely like an NPC starting point. You know what I mean? Like it's oh, like yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, and this empire decided to cover the tunnel leading to the one vulnerable spot instead of having a nicely cleared path. But thanks to Rogue One, we know that the craft design was intentionally sabotaged. It's so yes. true. I yeah. actually quite liked Rogue One. I, yeah, it was very out of, good. Out of, honestly, I actually might take that as my favorite of the sort of contemporary ones. Me too. Right? Like, kind of 100%. post Lucas, that was that was quite cool. Ah, uh, instant death. It's crazy kind of... that they're still making those two. <laughs> it's still, so it's still going. many Star still, Wars. Still going. Yeah. Taika Waititi's in there. He's, he's, he's gonna, <laughs> yeah, getting his two cents in He's going to do his thing. No damage by hitting the walls? Good question. I, uh, I don't believe there is. I don't think so. Let me just slam against the wall. Which nope. makes... Slam. It's interesting that a rock will just <laughs> instant death, but just like smashing. I think, I think my computer is saving me. Like it's yeah. from smashing into the wall. It's like it knows it's there. Yeah, I think that it's definitely it would be like like a harder game for sure, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if like... But a lot of games are like, yeah, don't touch the walls. You're gonna die. Well, it is interesting here because now you're in this cal this point where like now that we understand the insta-death, it's everyone. better to like, in fact, hit a mine than an insta-death. Oh, yes. Because we, we can easily, I think, recover, like get some power-ups and whatnot. Oh, but like, God. It's getting, yeah, it's getting, getting crowded here. Oh, did I win? Did, it, did we get it? Game over? What no! That? Did I win? Not like this. What? Game over. Oh, oh. You must have hit you must have hit one accidentally. But it might have been like potentially even like your wing or something. Like Yeah. But when it I was did turning. almost seemingly like glitch. Like I went out. into a wall or no. something. Anyway. Uh it's it's a fun <laughs> game. It's it's pretty good. I, d I can't make any suggestions. It it does what it does and um Yeah. It's got different stages. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I can I can see it being fun on a, a, a VR headset. Oh, yeah. Turning and shooting. Doing your thing. Plot point, I'll argue, was based on a misunderstanding. The trench isn't the one that runs around the middle of the Death Star. has shields. The entire surface is covered in guns. Yeah, that yeah. is true. Um, so, yeah, it's a fun game if you want to download. Simple. You yeah, know, man. Just a tunnel shooter. And my advice is avoid the rocks. 100%. Insta-death, avoid the rocks. Okay. The red rocks are bad. Do not do it. The next game we're going to be playing... 
Oh, he said he made the 3D objects in Blender, oh. exported them as wavefront objects, and converted them to a very specific binary format. Um, and he wrote his own renderer for that, and renders entirely on the GPU, so he didn't use any um, software for that. Uh, a new version of the game will be coming soon. I already added a few more levels. Oh, so man. there's going to be I'd extensions to that. I'd love to see like, to an that. update to this. It's cool. it's cool playing a 3D game. It's just different. Yeah. Uh, next one's Where Is It by Eric M. First posted November 8th. Size is 225K. Uh, hi, here's a little demo of Where Is It, a game I've created on the ColecoVision and ported to the MSX and recently on the Master System. Coleco! It is my first project on the JAG using JAG Studio. Thank you guys for your great dev lib. So, where is it? The quest for the 10th Oh my god, okay. So I don't think any of these menu items do, do anything, anything okay. right now. They're just kind I of I love our robots up top. Yeah. This is wah, cool. Wah, 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 I'm a big, wah, wah. big fan of robots. This is good. The game. You have to search a 3x3 three three pattern in a bigger area in a given time. There are 10 rounds by stage represented by the little flag. At the end of the 10th round, you arrive at the bonus stage. You don't lose any life and you can't press pause. Oh. So controls up, down, left, right. A, quit menu and enter the game. Uh, B, start game, action, uh, Start game or the action button in the game. When you found the correct button uh, pattern, uh, press press K. I don't know what that means. I think it means B. Pause, pause. Yeah. Again. I'm going to try to find the K button. Yeah, here. where's the K? Uh, lots of work to be done. The more I play with it, the more uh, I want to add. So, yeah, press A to start. There we go. So, press fire. Okay, so what's this again? So you have to find a maple leaf in the top left. Then a leaf beside it. Uh, so I'm looking for this pattern. Is yes. This, is this what I'm looking for? Bottom right, three over. Like, like there you go. Okay. And press B. There we go. So we're on round two of ten. Now we need the leaf and then the blue. It looks like the same spot, right? Oh, very like, close to the same crazy? spot. Yeah, that's the one. It's just one off. Okay, we got our, we got ourselves our green. Green spine and leaf. Is this is this us? Do you need an Atari to play? Yes. Uh, these games? No, you can download an emulator. Yes. Uh, download Big P E M U, and you can play all these games. These That's all awesome. these games we're gonna play today yes. are available in the Atari Age forums, and I have links to them Great. in my thread on the Atari Age forums. Yes. So if you just look, oh, level six already. Yes. If you do do a search for Zero Page Homebrew yes. Twitch. Uh, you'll find all the links. The robots there. look a bit like the Petski robots. Ooh, there, that's a game I have to play some more in some After Dark. Is this right? Yeah, this is right. Round seven. Oh, you're killing it. You're just killing it. it says, don't... Uh, what's more, the, there's a lot of work to be done. I want to add more options. What's more, the graphics aren't definitive. The graphics are good. They're very nice uh, graphics for the flowers and leaves. Uh, don't hesitate to test it out. Let me know if you find any bugs. No issues. Sometimes the cursor is not placed at the correct order. Bonus. <gasps> Bonus. Oh, there's no pause on this, so it's going to be a okay. rapid fire of something. Find 10 patterns. Quickly as possible. Oh. Well, okay. You're an expert I, at that I now. I kind of wish my cursor could move a bit faster. <laughs> well, is this, is part this... of the game, so. Oh, where is this one? This is a hard one. Yeah. Green tulip. Timer bonus. Down, right, down, down, it. down, down, down. I don't see down. it. Is there. that it? Yeah. There we go. Good. Is this it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is this it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, timer bonus hasn't gone down. Is this Not it? appreciably. Where is it? Oh, where is, where is it? it? Oh, maybe there's two here, pink right? flowers. I oh, I'd go look it. for the white. Yeah. There we go. Uh, the rose. Oh, the mushroom's probably going to be the easiest thing to look for. I think the double cross right in that pattern. Oh, the double cross. Yes. I think that's That's it. the key to that one. Oh, oh all well, these there you go. It's right there. That's not hard. Instant. I kind of wish I could move quicker, <laughs> though. I'm not going to lie. That's a bit of a... That's a bit of an X that's, factor. Yeah. Okay, so double chanterelles. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, there it is. The double chanterelle. Yeah, looking for doubles. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I just kind of wish I could move a bit. <laughs> Ooh, this one's a, this one's a hard harder. one. This is, yeah, because, okay, so the double Blue. ships. The double ships, oh, right? Oh, got it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, you can't do better than perfect. <laughs> is, that what, is, is that what just happened? Okay. 
Timer bonus? Come pattern. on. Oh, still counting up the pattern bonus. Okay. Oh, I'm just killing it. Oh, there you go. Let's drain the patterns. It's going to give me some patterns. And timer bonus. Lots. Well, I might have just shattered the high score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. World record. 38, 28. So there is an issue of it cutting off the right-hand side. Um, okay, cool. You can cool. see on the screen. That may... Fire to continue. Ooh, let me just check. Oh, you're still... No, it looks like it started over. Let me see if it just cut it off. Cool, you should try one. Uh, I think I got... Oh, no, it's not cut off. It's at the actual... It's actually cut off in the in the game. Uh, I'll try one. Yeah, give it a give it a spin. <laughs> Did it rearrange the board? I think so. Uh, okay. Double chanterelles. That's the way. That's right down here. Yeah, I feel like that's the the that's trick the to this key. one is oh, just double blue. You just find the double. Yes. Um, two lucky clovers. Where are they? It's kind of a Pacific Northwest um, theme. Yeah. Maple oh, leaves. That's where I started. No wonder I couldn't find it. Uh, Snow and sun. And... I'm going to go for the white beside. There it is. Yeah. Look for the one that stands out. And then another white and then a blue above it. Uh, right over here. The white stands out quite nicely. White and then a red above it. Uh, right there. And then... Double mushroom. Double mushroom. And also... Oh, how come I can't see it? It's oh, there it right. is. Yeah. Don't look at the extents too much. Is that right here? No. Yeah, um, yeah that's it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Double sun! Double sun. I see one down here. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And the crosses. Oh. Is that... Didn't it just give me that one? Bonus stage. Is there a Jagport of Petsky Robots? No. Isn't it what it is? It is, it what, is it what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um... Then there is... You That's, know what? I think we played this on the show. Did you think you've already done this? On a different system, on the Genesis, for some Genesis. reason. I think we played this. I'll have to look bottom. Back. Someone just screamed bottom. Oh, well. I think oh. I got the bottom one now. Oh, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Throwing them at me. I yeah. feel like there's plenty of time to finish this. Yeah, you didn't miss the counter. And uh, uh, so you have far... currently have 87 seconds <laughs> oh, to, to do like four of these. So oh, okay, I'm not seeing it. Where's this that? is a hard one because there's nothing. They're all unique, right? Yeah. Mushroom and then a clover above it. Mushroom. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I don't think I'm and doing quite it. as well as you are. But I don't think it's going to matter because I think that it's like. There it is. Yeah, still timer bonus. And uh, yeah, sun. I see, I see it. You're super close. Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, you got it. I do. I do think though, like, it, you see what I mean with like the movements. Yeah, it's, it, could it's, a uh, bit, it could be a bit faster. It's a little slow, especially given that this is a time. Like, time <laughs> is of the essence. When you see it, and you're just slowly. You just feel like, like you. I mean, it's even for everyone who plays it. It's not like we're at a disadvantage, but. Just the feel of the game. Oh, I missed one time where you beat me. Oh, for sure. But it's cumulative, so it's adding up even, yeah. even more. So, um, Yeah, for what it is, Dude, it great. does what it needs to do. Um, I think it needs sound. There's no sound. Oh, yeah. And he probably wants to do some, some more different games, like it scrambles a board or, I don't know, things start moving around, maybe. Um, faster control... That would, that would that help. would be nice. And I, even like a ramp, like it's fine to be that slow, but if you push it to the end to go quicker, I don't know if that's in the technology. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you could like have a button that makes you move faster if you want, like hold down the button. Yeah. Yeah, holding in the button and moving could be like double speed. It'd be so yeah. nice. Especially because when Just you see an it. Option. Yeah. Especially because this is a time-based game. So the next game uh, that we're going to be playing 
is Starfighter Star by David Cummings. Okay. Uh, did the program Jedi Get Get a Get Al Get Al yeah. and Asimas Ansimas graphics and sound Asmodius uh, Asmodius Seven. Uh, this <laughs> I don't was know if that's the name. But. This uh, build is from October twenty fourth. Go for it. It's a four meg game. Um, I said I created a simple game for the Atari Jaguar that I'd like to share. It's called Starfighter, and it's a simple asteroids clone. I consider the game to be a fun diversion. I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making it. Mind you, it's still rough around the edges, but it's playable. Any and all feedback is appreciated, and I'm still polishing the game, and your feedback may well influence the changes I make. Lastly, this game, albeit simple, would not have been possible without the wonderful help I received in the programming threads here on Atari Age, as well as the wonderful and graphical music assets created by Ansimas. Ooh, Enjoy. the triangle. Ooh. Um, I've tested Illuminati this. confirmed. Yeah, right there. <laughs> like, and, the, and the alignment of those planets. Oh, lots of secret. We got to get an in analysis there. of this screen <laughs> yep. to really understand. Hold it up like that. There. I don't know. It's a secret symbol. But this is somehow connected to a Renaissance painting. <laughs> <laughs> somehow, and a hidden book behind the painting and in the wall, which happens to be in the Vatican. Oh, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> Off on our adventure. I've tested this on the Virtual Jaguar and on the ja Atari Jaguar by means of the Skunk Board, and now the Jaguar GD. It works on this. Do people are people are um, have identified that the cats are needing needing it? But they are they are wistful. Let's say Atari actually started to like use my leg as like a, as a post, he, but he, but not in a like aggressive way. He's just looking at me with these eyes of like well, I don't understand. <laughs> oh. Why aren't you feeding me? Gamma Dev doesn't have enough. Oh no. Oh, it's Oh, uh, I've got enough, and I will activate it after this game. Um, oh, sick. Let's do it after this game. It's a pretty short, cool. pretty short game. Ooh. Get to pick. I'm going to pick the one that looks like an N64 controller. Three this hands. Is, we yeah. were just talking about this. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, I think you have to press another button. A, B, C, up, down, C. Nice. Yeah, I would conform the buttons to be like B Whoa, start. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I shoot stuff. Oh, asteroids, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I played this a little bit. Um, it's got a couple things that I would probably suggest. Oh, interesting. So, like, when I shoot this, right? Like, check this out. If I shoot this, it almost like, oh, it doesn't. Its range is kind of was odd for a second. There was a moment in there where I was like... Yeah, if you shoot twice... Yeah, it'll like... Or hold it down... Oh, 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 oh. It'll recall the shot. Which is not an unusual thing in games, especially old school games, yeah. where you would press it again and the shot would be recalled. It's a feature. Yeah. Oh, oh. And also, speed. anybody else who's played this, I would also suggest that when you turn in a direction, it stays in that direction. Because I know you have to keep moving down to shoot down. Because if you let go of the joystick, it points up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it's right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a huge... It's a, that's a little bit of a... You yeah. know, a little QOL. Yeah. A little QOL. Oh, 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 it's coming after you. Oh, Whoa, did I just go it. through the screen? <gasps> Wrap around. Oh, that's... Which is an asteroid. Asteroid thing. thing. Oh, no! no. Just don't no. shoot it when you're too close to it. Because it'll separate into two. I like this um, kind of like um, cut out animation style, right? It is nice. It's this got is a very cool. And uh, we have our kind a of lit edge. Yeah, on this the nice sort of background. It's very because you actually that lit edge is so key because it it'd be see easy for this to just blend into the background. Because yeah. like these ones are clearly in the background, but these ones aren't. The foreground option. Ooh, turned it to three. Um, yeah, the graphics are really good. Really cool, and I like, and I love this art style so much. Yes. It kind of feels like, sort of like almost concept arty, which yeah. I think to me I have a love for sci-fi concept art. So yeah. it's, that's I love great. this style of graphics. I like the late later um, um, it, like drawn, like hand drawn pixel pixel art, yeah. rather than um, rendered, like photograph renders like a lot of the jaguar games that we're playing like the classic ones are photographic render style oh cool cool and i like the color palette of this blue and Ooh, orange yeah. and yellow very nice oh the blue blue orange classic movie poster of the uh, 2000s opposite end of the color wheel that's right complementary colors that's right 
the sky and also the sunset, sunrise. Like Our eyes are just attuned to the oranges and blues, yeah. the cold and the warm. Yeah, and they're just so contrasting to each other, yeah. so it's really easy to identify like a blue. No! Oh, the hitbox is rather large, let's say, because you didn't really get that close. Oh, especially now that we're oh, getting boy. our like, oh, it almost seems to like be lagging a bit. Yeah, there are some speed issues, oh, like when you right. pre when you now watch when I um I'm gonna pick uh, I don't know. Go I think one check. with hopefully a smaller hitbox. Maybe. So if you watch while I shoot, the asteroid speeds up, which is a bit weird. Yeah, and it was almost doing the opposite. Yeah, yeah, See? yeah. It speeds up. Uh, with every shot, like it goes, uh, 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 uh. so that needs to be worked on. Like the timing needs to be independent of you shooting. Oh my god, I crashed into it as it appeared on the screen. Yeah, that's that's a bit of an issue. So either make um, the ship invincible for the first couple seconds, so you can get out of the way, or yeah. avoid placing the rocks where the um, the player is. Because I've I've seen that in other games, like early. Oh, dude. Hey. Oh, I can't shoot that far. You should be able to, but it's weird. Yeah. The it's weird the range. Like it feels sometimes like you, like you can just pierce. Yeah. Like how far is the range? Is it the whole screen? Let's see. But it's yeah, like. Yeah. But then it was odd that corner you couldn't do. Yeah, I, it wouldn't shoot that far. Now it can. That's. Oh. I think I think it's just because of like when you do an adjustment. Oh look at that. No, I can't on the bottom here. It only goes a tiny bit. But here I can shoot all the way across. Yeah. That's a bug. Watch. It only shoots a little bit. Oh, left and right. Yeah, stay stay away from the bottom. So if I move up just a little bit, it's fine. You're fine. Yeah, Here, but then there, no. it's not. Interesting. It's interesting. You try the top left and right. See yeah. if that's like. Yeah. Seems to be fine. What about if you go to the top right and like shoot down? I'm just curious. I don't want to scuff your playthrough though, but it's interesting testing. Yeah, so it yeah, seems to be just, just that. just the bottom. That's okay. I'm try it in the bottom. Uh, Wait for this asteroid to get out of here. Oh my oh, god. That's okay, we're testing. We're yeah, testing. testing. Let's go here. Nope. It's this whole area, if you're below a certain height, um, it acts like you've pressed the button again and recalls your shot. Oh, I'm running into it. But uh, good start. I am i don't know if I'd want inertia. Maybe he's going for something different than asteroids because in asteroids there's inertia so you keep moving. Yeah, which is kind of cool because it's like this scientifically a bit more accurate, yes. but also it produces like problems. I think too that like with something like this, like there's just like like having upgrades would be so sick. <laughs> yes, know? like double shots or rapid fire that goes further. Rapid like fire this... that goes further. Um, something that maybe even like oh. shoots like behind and in front of you. I also oh think, yes, yes. I also think a neat option for this game in particular could be to have like one like to have one that like reduces you the size of your ship Ooh, that or would be good. or even on like another level like if we need to have like a, a like a roulette wheel where one even maybe like makes your ship bigger oh so yeah like you're like no a like mystery could, power up you know there could be something like that like it'd be neat to see a couple details like that because then there's like a, a other layers of tactics yeah and you're not just copying asteroids which it isn't already it's got it has no inertia so that's different um what what <laughs> Um, and also, uh, uh, maybe a heat seeking missile for a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes. Maybe like you could nuke the screen with a one, oh, one yes. shot, right? Like there's lots of cool options, a shield that like you can take oh, one hit, you yeah. know, just the whole, there's, I mean, there's so many versions of, of like games like this that have those options, but I think that would just also help replayability because the shot, oh. the shot even cut off just as it got to the same area on the bottom when you shot from the top. Um, uh, shot from the top. Yeah, all along the top it seems fine. As soon as I cross over, it's short shot time. I can shoot all the way. Oh wait, can I shoot all the way up from the bottom? Yeah. So if I'm at the bottom, it's it's the vertical shots are fine. 
It's just the horizontal shots are short. Yeah. Which is which is even so, more strange that it has just, that. It's just odd. Yeah. And uh, maybe have some different enemies. It has one. It has that UFO. Maybe we just haven't made it far enough to... Uh... That's a I bit... think I think honestly, like one of the biggest challenges in terms of like um, just gameplay difficulty is the size of your ship. And like, it's huge, especially when you start to get all those little meteors going. It's yeah. really like quite yep. quite punishing. And you have to be very far away. That's because where I... it splits up and kills you. That is where I got that idea. Like even just from playing this, that like having some way to to manipulate the size of your ship would actually drastically alter the game's like challenge or not. Like having a smaller ship would yes. be just like so powerful, so beneficial. Um, and then having a bigger ship would be like no. It'd be very bad. Um, and I and I I personally think that it's very cool to have things like a almost like a. Oh, the Jag is a stereo machine. Um. But here. most of my systems are not stereo, so there, I've just turned it to stereo. Okay, cool. I think we are done with this game. And I've saved a bunch of time for the last game, because it's a kind of a strategy game. Ooh, okay, cool. So I think you destroy this. Dylan. Let me change the cart. Bam. What's this, what's this one's called? The Hunt. The it's Hunt. Treat not to be confused with Oh, the... but not yet. The cats have to have their own hunt. The hunt Thank is on. you so much, Dan. Oh, I know Whoa. you're starving. Cat cats. So let's cat start cats. up the bedding. So I've said this before. Yeah. And you're gonna say it again. Hundred percent of the time <laughs> that I've been here, Sprite has won. So I just want you guys oh, to know. Atari this. has won twice recently. I, I, I this, I'm sure Atari has. No, no, no. I'm certain Atari has, but I'm just letting the the audience at home know. <laughs> the uh, the odds from, are with Atari because. From me being here, hundred percent of the time, Sprite has won. So keep that in mind if you're. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of like the Atari jinx. <laughs> um. Yeah. Technically, the 2600 is a stereo machine. Except it's like super hard panned. You can go and uh, and all of one sound from one channel, audio channels in the left, and all the sound from one channel is in the right. Oh, the greenies! But even the game that was in stereo, um, like combat, is technically in stereo. One person in one channel, one in the other. If they switch sides in the screen, it's still. Yeah, it's wrong. So they didn't really make it in stereo. So place your bets. Click predict. Pick a cat. Pick uh, an amount. We're gonna get them to ring the bells, and whoever gets to ten first wins the game. Natari's the serious underdog. Oh, serious! But there's money to be made because this of that. Is, because everyone's gonna bet on Sprite. So even if you put a little on Atari That's right. and he wins, you get all the Sprite money. And I want to be here for the day that Atari finally wins while I'm here. 100% <laughs> of the time, Sprite has won. Uh, yeah. That I've been here that I've observed. Chances are, yeah. This is why anecdotal evidence is bullshit. Because <laughs> yes. it's like, well, from, from what I've seen... <laughs> Uh, Sprite always <laughs> wins. wins. Yeah. So he must always win, even when I'm not here. Cat races. Sponsored by ZPH. Medieval right. Mayhem is a good uh, stereo use on the 2600. There you go. If it's purpose made. Uh, so we've got five on Sprite and one on Atari. Ooh. Ooh, the dog. But a big bet on Atari. So they're vying to take the big pot if they win, because their betting is like, oh, I don't want anybody else to edge me out. This is the thing. 15K on Atari. Who placed that? Is this the day? Is this the day? Wow. They got... Oh, trying to ring the bell. Okay. We are now... We are live. Time. We are live. We're go. Undefeated. Are you ready, Cats? Double champ. I think Atari's ready, because he was trying to paw Sprite to get a treat. Okay. And go! Oh, that was oh, Sprite. Uh, uh, I dropped it. Sprite! Oh, no. Sprite! No! Yeah, they I both got to eat it. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Mistakes were made. <gasps> and another one for Sprite. And Atari's got his Atari. first one in. Sprite's up to three. My goodness. Wow. Come on, Atari. Ring that bell. Oh my god, he's inhaling them. There. Nice strong ring from Atari. He's just a little slow in the eating. He does take it away a little bit. Oh, no. That's a non-ring. Another non-ring. You're so close. And okay. a ring. Five to two for Sprite. 
Yeah, yeah there was we that, go. Was that a three. double hit? No. No. Oh, six to three. Oh. Atari. Oh, sorry. Bounced underneath my feet. Come on, Atari. Ring that bell. You can catch up. There we go. Six to four. He's still two behind. <laughs> he stole it from... No! No! Oh, no. Sprite just stole Sprite. it. Stolen Valor. Oh, so evil. There we you go. You didn't deserve that, Seven Sprite. Four. You didn't. Sprite! Come on. Come on, Atari. Oh, it was a soft ring, but it came in. I don't. I didn't know if Sprite there. Sprite got it as well. It's eight to five. It's, oh. it's not looking good for Atari. Something drastic. Oh, nine happened. to five. It's game point. Very not looking good. Oh, it's not even working. Oh, come on, Atari. Oh, oh no. Ten to five. Oh no. I'll give you the honors. Here you go, Count. Once have again, a, the curse, the jinx. Yep, it's all done. Ten to five. Not a good showing for that was a rough Atari. One. That was very rough. It might have something to do with my technique of throwing. I don't know. I don't. I try know. to. I'm trying to offer. I'm trying to do. I don't. I. I want Atari to win. I'm like. <laughs> I don't. We try and give as much. I want David as to just fucking hit Goliath with Boom. that sling, man. I want. It happens it. once in a while. Someday I'll but be not here. This time. <laughs> Someday I'll be here. He got denied again from seeing Atari win. That's a rough spread to 10 to 5. Oh, it's brutal. That might be one of the worst showings that we've had. Atari even left the room. Okay, he's back. He's... Yeah. Too bad we can't do spreads. Yeah. That would be much more interesting. Oh, can you do that? Yeah, we of could. Course, there's always a way. Oh, we could do spreads. When there's a will, there's a way. Ooh. I think we might. We might switch to that next time. Yeah. Because that's more interesting because Atari almost always loses. There could be an upset. Yeah, we could have like two or three options, not just a, a binary. That would be great. What happens if everybody bets on Sprite? Well, if they all lose, you all lose your perhaps, price. <laughs> perhaps we could get a parlay. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we could get a parlay going. <laughs> so who got the big points? Vitoko won. Split the pot of 20,000. Yeah. One person bet on Atari. Who bet? Who lost their money? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm I can't so find sorry. out. Yeah, it's the so house sad. house wins. It is the problem. The house. Al Nefer. Al. Oh, Al. Oh, no. But the thing is, is you never know. You never know. Yeah. And yeah. betting on the dog is always <laughs> right. worthwhile. Because it's, it's any cat's race. <laughs> it is. It's any cat's race. <laughs> And it's usually Sprite's game. The Schrodinger's Sprite's treat time. No, not real bunny. Uh, it was channel points. You can't do it. You can just trigger things uh, while you watch. Like, you can make things and it, we, beep and stuff. You and just accrue them, right, just by watching, yeah. right? Just it's by not, watching. You, you it adds up. up, yeah. How about a handicap factor? That's, that's what we're going to do with the spread. Because we know Atari, like, Sprite almost always wins. So it's like, how much will he win by? This is the thing. It's going to be win by one, two, three, four. I'm going to figure that out. But that's definitely what we're going to do on Tuesday yeah. or the next show. That's going to be much more interesting. And perhaps a parlay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's load up The Hunt by William let's Thorpe, Bit not, Jag. Not to be confused with the Mad Mickelson movie. <laughs> Uh, Mihao Radecki, uh, Mikulich, uh, who is, uh, Whoa, is that a string? What, what is this art? Yeah. You can include art if you make a special file. Nice. Okay. Um, and Jakub Debski, uh, original code and Pavel Shev, Shevjik, Rip Rypek for the artwork and graphics. November 24th. Go for it. It's uh 512 K. And he said, let's celebrate the Atari Jaguar's 30th anniversary with a new game, The Hunt, which was originally released in 2013 for the ABU, ABBUC competition for the Atari 8-bit. I discovered this game randomly a few years ago, and I've put more time into it. Oh, <gasps> let's watch the intro. The Death Star. Sorry. It's on the radar. Oh, can't read that. I must say Earth. Oh, it's all in Predator. Oh, it's the credits. Oh, I'm up here a bit so we can hear it. Oh, there's some Predators taking some readings, checking out their to-do list. <laughs> you know, they created the Xenomorph so they could have the ultimate. <laughs> the ultimate uh, thing to hunt. Yeah, that's right. 
I don't know how canon that is. Uh, but that was Alien they, versus Predator. They definitely came up with hunt it. them. I think they have selectively bred them at least. I don't know if they came up with them. It's been so long since I read the comics. And I think there's multiple versions as well, right? Like, I think people have t- taken them different days. Celebrating the 30th of the game, that looks like it was made 40 years ago. This would have been a specky version of Predator. Yes. Um, the, t- the Hunt is a turn-based combat puzzle game. Oh. Great title screen. You control a young Predator on his first hunt on the planet Earth. Ooh. Flight your, fight your way through 16, 16 randomly generated, love the blood Ooh. dripping down, and progressively harder levels to claim your ultimate trophy. Here's a short video of the game on hardware. Obviously, we're not watching that. Um, at one point, the game wouldn't run on my recently purchased 800 XL. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, so I've got the instruction manual here, which you'll get when you download it. Nice. So it's a hexagon based. Um, movement okay. system. Um, when hunting, the hunter must be sure his prey is considered game and law- lawful to kill. Where the game must fill the vol- following criteria, it can defend itself and is or be able to kill the hunter himself, not linked to other lives, unwilling to be hunted. Uh, so that is the y- Yauta Honor Code. Yeah. Um, I be confused with the Bushido Code. So man. let's go to the game screen. So press go. And press it again. Oh yeah, I have to wait till the blood drips down. It's really good. Okay, now you can. Nice. Okay, so I'll explain. Don't do anything yet. Uh, so that is the map of the current screen. Um, you got to get to the exit at the top to get to the next level. Um, at the top right is your health at the top and energy points on the second. Cool based in um, LED 80s looking (laughs) uh, predator technology. Um, Number four, uh, sorry, that is your special actions. And I'll explain what each of those are in a second. Um, That is your level number, the I. Cool. And your score will be beside the box in the bottom right. When I get a score. When you get a score, you have not scored yet. So as you can see, it's hex-based movement. So we've got some terrain to navigate. Yep, moving. You can press in the direction, and then you move with the B with the B button. That makes sense. Um, when there are prey still alive, you can only move one cell of one of di- six directions. You can only move into adjacent cells. Cool. You can skip your turn by pressing the Option button if you want to skip your turn, okay. which may draw them towards you, and you get an advantage, I think, of the hit. Uh, there are two close combat attacks you can c- pr- perform. The thrust attack. Uh, thrust. That's right. Uh, when approaching directly towards an enemy, like if he was two above you, that would be going towards him doing a thrust it's attack. Like a little leap attack, because a ranged attack. That's right. Uh, thrust attack also works when you jump into a tile adjacent to an enemy. So there is a jump. You can see that arrow. Yeah. That's a jump. So you can use that. Um, if you want to jump closer. Slice attack. Slice an adjacent enemy by moving diagonally another tile to that enemy. So if you were able to move not one, but two, you'd be able to do a slice attack as you approach him. Reminds me of Castle Wolfenstein the Apple too. Uh, was that turn-based? I thought that was not turn-based. It seemed turn-based, but I thought they moved on their own too. It's not possible to attack an enemy by moving your character on it. When you kill an enemy in close combat, you will regenerate energy. The amount of energy regenerated depends on the type of attack. Okay, so your special actions. First one is jump. Jump your character to another point on the map. After a jump, close combat attacks are performed. I don't know how far you can jump. How do I engage those? Um, Pressing the B button when the cursor is in the neutral position. Oh, so like so right here, right if I so hit try B, now. oh, now I can kind of choose. Yep. So the next one is throw a spear. Throw your spear to another point on the map. When thrown, it can kill many enemies in the path. And the next one down is a cloaking device. Makes you invisible to the enemies. Dogs and knifers can still attack you if you're near them. Does not cost a turn to activate. Disables when you attack. So you can be cloaked, then when you attack, you're visible again. 
And I think that arrow up is to get out of that menu. Try it. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. And so if I did this leap option, I could just leap to like Ooh, here. Oh, it tells you where you can leap. Okay. What do you think? Try that. And oh, I think, it's, I think because I jumped maybe through that thing. He gets advantage. Okay. Because your leap was your turn. And then this is, so what are these icons now? That one is throwing a spear. So that's a projectile. Oh, what is that? Oh, you can't do it. I guess there's a cooldown. Okay. And so is uh, this... Or you, oh, you can't cloak beside him because he that can That makes see sense. You. So what's just the default attack? Is that the spear? So go down t to the exit. Uh, the default attack is to move... And then hit. adjacent to him and if you move up to the right you will do a slice attack but i think he will hit you as well achievement first blood first blood okay so like okay so He's i hit dead. him so now you could maybe try your spear and see what possible oh no it only goes so far so it goes two so yeah you can jump and you do use up one of the energies. Oh, with those like special movements? Yeah. Not turn by but look similar. Yeah, it does look similar. Which one is the mud covered Ar Arnold? Probably that guy up there. Well, he's got a gun though. So there are enemies and that enemy is. Oh no, come on. So you could wait where you are. Oh, you got him. That was a soldier with a rifle. Before shooting, he has to change to an aiming position, which he did. Great. Oh, now your power-ups. Let me uh, read about these. Greater energy. Um, Maybe more energy per increases kill. Increases your maximum and current energy by one. Energy max out at 18. More, energies, more enemies per kill, which is your lowest. More energy per kill. Uh, which just means I get more, like... This one is not that feels explained. To me, that feels to me like like maybe the maybe the one to try. Reduce co cloaking cost. Eh, you've got it pretty high up. Restore health. More energy per kill. Oh, that's the energy you get from the kill. That's right. probably a good thing. As I kind of think like early on, because then if I if I t can take damage and like immediately regen a bunch. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's there see. you go. Okay, so, so you exit. I think I got the, just these arrows. Let's yeah, I think you can just move to an okay. arrow. There you go. So now there's three guys. <clears throat> there's also a box. Let me look up what that box is while you're doing things. Oh, I don't have the... Um, uh, you don't have anything. I don't have my spear or anything like that. I oh, think no. I think I might have... We might have to do a... a we might have to... Okay, let's see. I, I didn't get any energy though from my kill. That's too bad. I didn't get health. Health. There's health and then there's energy. Oh, so energy so, would be like okay. Oh, okay. uh, that would been good if it was health. Well, this is good. This is good. I'm just learning. Yep. Learning about the game. Okay. Uh, so I don't actually think this jump business was a smart one. No. I think I'd probably uh, on. I'm gonna try out this cloaking. Yeah, right away, because then you're safe until you hit them. They don't know where you are. And then I'm gonna just let them slowly come so get near them but don't oh now you could if you move up you can slash him i'm just gonna i'm just going for the kill uh-oh he hit you oh, oh cloak again <laughs> oh you can't. can't you can throw your spear but it's too far so uh -oh. get out of his line of fire just make sure you stay out of his line of fire don't move to the left don't. Oh, not quite. Uh, you can move down one, I think. And that's Try safe. It out. Yep. Now you can use your spear, or you can There's move. There you go. Okay, and then we'll, we'll grab ourselves this. And I actually think now I just need to restore, restore health. health. Yeah. I just don't. that's to full. Good, good. I just don't see myself getting through this. Okay. Okay, now you just want to stay out, stay out of the line of fire. Ugh. Oh, grenade! I would jump or run away. Not closer. Move away. Yeah, jump. Oh, that's too close to the grenade. It sucks though, because I can... And you're beside him. 
But I could hit, I could hit him. Uh, let's do maybe here, actually. Let's see how this feels. Oh. <laughs> he destroyed his own guy. Okay, that's great. Oops. Oh, uh, did I just get hit? No. No, no, you're still good. Okay. You're still good. And if you move... Oh, he ran away. Oh, he's ready to fire. No. Oh. No. <gasps> Uh, is that far enough away? I don't think so, don't but think I can't so. jump. Oh, oh, it is. I did, okay. So the grenade only explodes in its um, surrounding areas. Oh, boy, he's going to blow himself up. Maybe. Nice. Nice moves. Whew. Okay, so now I can actually get some upgrades. Yes, because you have full health. Um, uh, more energy oh. per kill I do like, because then I can throw, I can jump. Could you, you could get one more greater health, though. Greater health? Um, but the other thing is, is that like, because if I can throw a spear, I can cloak more, I can... True. Spear throwing distance. Ooh, that's, that's, oh, dude, I want that's... all, I want all of these. <laughs> I want all One of per these. turn. <laughs> oh, there's also a grappling hook. Okay, I think like, um, greater health is an option yeah because at least the game won't end and you're doing fine but they're gonna throw more enemies at you too i'm gonna i'm gonna go with my gut and yeah. do more energy per kill this might be a mistake okay um but at least i feel like if i have more utility i just feel like i have more <clears> options <throat> yeah but i could just get like like wrecked you can't do anything right now why not yeah because I, I need energy but i don't uh, know if i'm getting any from like my kills okay so i We'll There's try this. Let's read about the dog now. Oh, you ran away. And he hit you, too. <gasps> okay, so... Run! But you see, now I can throw my spear. Oh, because you have energy. So you... Oh, not quite. Not quite. See, that? I need that spear distance. Yeah. No! <laughs> okay. fine i don't yeah let's now you can you can you can hit that guy by going forward but you're going to go into the line of fire of that guy on the right if you move forward that's a good point but that is an attack by moving forward to, towards him i'm just going to throw my spear Ooh, that's because why not like yep he's within the range nice oh you got to pick it up <laughs> uh oh i blew up his own guy but you didn't get anything from that that's the thing yeah, that's its attack. Great. Okay. Nice. Get that spear upgrade. What do you think? More energy per kill. I'm good. We're good for that for now. Spear throwing distance, greater health, restore health. I think spear throwing distance might be the way. Yeah. Um, although I wouldn't mind having more health. Uh, but I think I think if I can like if I can get more if I can like just wipe someone out. Yeah. Because at this point, more oh, health the next one. Yeah. Okay, so... Three guys and a dog. Oh, yeah, I was going to look up. Dog can move twice as fast as other prey. They can attack instantly when you're near them. Okay, so, uh, yeah, see, I already got, like... Oh, see? Hmm. I, I want to get out of this, like, distance. Yeah, let them approach you. I think you can throw... Oh, you, you can throw this... You could... Oh, you an attack distance for both those guys. If you shoot one of those guys, the other one will attack you. So I wouldn't be careful. I don't know what else to do though. They're both they're gonna keep doing that though. But that guy to the right um, doesn't have his gun ready, so he can't shoot you. So if you move down to the right, oh yeah, and I might he'll be, come towards and you. And I might be able to blast like okay, okay. Oh perfect, that guy's gonna get blown up. Okay, I'll just yeah. move out of the way. Perfect. <laughs> Let them kill them. Uh, yeah, that guy's got his gun ready. No, that's too far. Oh, I'm just gonna... Evasive Al... maneuvers! Alan the first says, I had 135,000 before the cat gambling started. <laughs> oh no, the cat gambling. Yeah, that's safe. That's... Can you spear him from there? Yes! Nice, perfect. I just get away from that grenade. You can get your spear back. Don't think you can throw it because you don't have enough energy. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. 
attack. Nice. I want that spear. Okay, and then I'll get my <laughs> thing. Okay, so let's think. Oh, I might just restore oh, greater health. Greater health gives you one and increases Yeah, well, one. we're going to do greater health. So it does the restore health on top of it. We need, and yeah. we need more health. Yeah, yeah. Grappling I think, hook. I think oh. now's the time to kind of like go for that. Get some health. Grappling hook's next because then you can jump very far. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Young Four blood. guys and a dog. Oh, what's that new guy? Soldier with a flamethrower. The guy at the top left. Oh, shit. Fires a burst of flames when on a straight line in relation to you. His attack range is one through four cells. So you have to be pretty far okay, from Okay, so I need this kill. I think I'm yeah. going to get it. You should be able to get it. Yeah. Because now that gives me my spear and my jump. How far can those guys shoot? Oh, the soldier with a rifle is two to five. But the rifle has to be out. Those guys are knife... The guys with the, their hands out, the guy on the left is a knife thrower. Um, that other guy's obviously a grenade thrower. Oh, I didn't realize he blasted that yeah, far. Yeah, five. Okay. Uh, you can do a... No, oh, you can't do a spear. But he can only shoot in straight lines, so you want to stay out of his straight line. Is he going to blow himself up? Nope. It's not that stupid. Yep, yeah, uh, knock I... forward, that guy's gonna blast you. Yeah. Do I get... Oh, uh, but you'll be flamethrowed. Oh, that's a good point, yeah, yeah, yeah I, gotta get, I gotta get out of the... the... Uh, you could move up to the left, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yes, perfect. Yep, yeah. nice. Now he's just him. So I would close in on him, but stay out of his line of fire. So you can throw a spear eventually at him. Because he'll keep moving. Yeah, there you go. Now you can spear him. And he can't attack you. Can't oh, I can't I can't spear him from that angle yet. Oh. Okay, so I can only... On diagonals. That's okay, that's okay. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're just going to be patient. Yep. I think he knows your tactics. Yeah, that's fine. That's not right. I, I don't can't, think so. I don't, I don't believe I can. Oh, it is. I am? Okay. Nice. Got him. Oh, okay, okay. So I only got one health, so I wouldn't mind restore health, honestly. 100%. Gain on health one. on triple close kill. No thanks. Throw distance. Oh, that's a hard one to do. Reduce cloaking cost. I mean, cloaking, yeah. I think, is a big deal, but we just need our health. Yeah. We're going to die otherwise. But, okay, I do I actually think that energy was a smart choice. Okay, so you can... Yeah, the energy was a, a very smart choice. So then you can get... Uh, yeah, you're far enough away you won't get flamethrowed if you go down there. Uh-oh. Uh, ooh. Yeah, you can't attack him. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's safe. Nice. Uh, watch out for the flamethrower guy. He's, no, no. Flamethrower guy's gonna get you in the next turn. You're right in line with him. So you gotta move. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, um... Let's do that. Oh, perfect. He's gonna take out his own guy. Which is nice, but it also sucks, too. You because you don't get any. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Oh, wait, shit. No. I'm gonna go here. Um, the guy with the gun also has the same range. Ooh, move up to the right. Yeah, I think. Maybe that guy will close in. Oh, oh no, I, I didn't think I'm about sorry. that. I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. It. Watch this, though. I think this might actually be OP. I could be wrong, but I believe... I believe I'll pierce them. Too far. No! Too far. You can get that guy. Actually, no, I gotta get the fuck out of this line. Fire. Oh, you do? Yeah. You're gonna be flamethrowed or shot by one or the other. Might be time to throw a yes, spear. Definitely. Am I able to guy. hit this guy? No, you gotta do it in a row, I guess. First guy first. Or it's too far. 
Perfect. Perfect. Hopefully that. Oh, oh no! I didn't think about that. Fuck. Oh, damn it! You got one power left. One health left. Oh, you're dead. He's cornered you. Oh, and you can't jump. Damn it. That might be it. That's rip. That's it. Jump on the grenade. <laughs> no. Okay. Nice. I made it pretty far though. Not too yep. bad. First blood, young blood. Not too bad. Because there's achievements in this game. Yeah, there's a lot to. It's it's. I like the tactics of this. This is good shit. Young blood unlocked when you reach level five. Blooded, level ten. Victorious when you win the game. Okay. Oh, okay. How many levels maybe are there? fifteen levels. That feels. You know nice. what I mean? Like five, ten, fifteen. That feels like maybe. Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen. 16 yeah. Okay. Um, here's the instructions if you want to look at some more. Yeah, for sure. Hi, cat. What do you What do you want? Okay, so I learned from you. So hey, buddy. That guy's a gun. So I can move there. Yeah, I feel like um. <gasps> no. It's a good game because it's like there's so much knowledge to accrue just by playing it. Like I feel so much more equipped now to like make decisions. I'm certain that the cloaking actually is probably really powerful, and I'm just not yeah. I'm just not using it properly yet. After you kill the dog, it's probably a lot more useful because the dog knows where you are. It can find you. Uh, I'd probably say throwing spear distance yeah, at, this at this point. point. Yeah. Um, because yeah, I think getting your like offense up. It's huge because you're at a huge disadvantage. And I think that energy on kill is a really big deal because it just gives you like actions. It gives you more chance. Yeah, I just go kill him. Yeah. Uh, okay, that is a rifle. You I mean, could probably th maybe throw your spear and hit that guy. No, so you're not quite. It's, I think at the diagonal. I though. can. Just see if it's. No, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You may as well, like. Oh, oh no, that's not nice. Yeah, you could probably just kill him. Just. Uh, yeah. Just close the distance. Cool. Nice. Pick up my spear again. Yeah, you might just want to do a restore Book health. Book it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I wish there was a bigger health at this point. But it's just tough when you only got one. <sighs> yeah, it's just too tough. Yeah, this is almost one of those games where you could really see yourself just replaying the first couple levels to get yourself with a proper foundation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you can kind of see that, like, if you if you can kind of not get hit and get some good upgrades in the first few levels, it sets your gameplay up immensely. Like. Oh yes. So I could Huge. really, I could really see like if you were like wanting to like push to the end, I could definitely see someone kind of like after even level four, if you didn't get the the combos Damn, nice. you wanted. Because even now, there's almost like a sense of like, oh shit, like... <laughs> like, what is that cube? I'm gonna go for that cube right now. Does it upgrade you immediately? <gasps> upgrade you immediately? Yeah, you can definitely do That's it. cool, why not? You're in the fight. Well, uh, greater health! 100%. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. So you can get the drop box mid-game. That's, that's a neat tactic. You can throw. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, don't forget about your spear. Um, I don't think I can do it. You're good here. from here, yeah. You you can't do it from here, I think, but, Long um... angle. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, just... That's definitely a factor. Yeah, if you close the distance... You might be able to do it from here, is that... I'm trapped if I go there and he throws a grenade. That's the problem. What if you throw this? Yeah. I... Can I... Oh, I... Greater throwing distance. That, that's what I mean. I thought. I think you might right. have been able to hit him from that. I definitely can now. And I think the spear is a guaranteed kill. So far. Which is like yeah. really so. In a way, like the spear, like, like there's almost a tactic now of like spearing people with guns or like people with flamethrowers and whatnot. Is he in my? Yeah, he's can shoot me, right? If you can hit him, hit him. Yeah. Oh, because I don't have the spear. That's why it's a zero. Okay, Mr. Dude. Yeah. Ooh. And ideally we ideally more energy on kill would be a good would be a good next upgrade. Uh yes. 
Yeah, so far, like, the cloaking kind of is, it's strong, but it's really, it's... I think it's more useful later. Well, we're just so, um, starved for action economy. More energy per kill. Do I need energy? I haven't been really... It lets you jump, and it lets you cloak, and I kind yeah. of feel like, I kind of feel like that's such a big, like, like, deal. Yeah, let's go with the energy for now. What is the screen resolution of this game? That is a good question. It is using monochrome, so you can get away with a more resolution. Uh, it yeah, isn't so, in my notes. Because, yeah, here, like, our goal, it feels like, if possible, is to kill one of these guys and then yeah, spear that flamethrower. Energy. Just got a gun. <gasps> Damn it. See, that, I think that might have been the level pretty close to the level I, I died at I as well. I think so, yeah. Okay, let's, let's get some... Let's get some do it. It's going here. It's a great game. I it really, is, like really this is. Game. Yeah. Let's see if I missed anything that could help us. Hunt is inspired by the Android game Hoplite. Do these guys have guns? Uh, the, that guy does. That guy's a grenade thrower. It's just they look slightly different. Let's, let me go back to my uh, enemy list here. Oh no, he's a knife. Sorry, that guy has a, a, has a rifle. The guy with his hands right to his side are grenade. Yeah, like you see here, the mm -hmm. fact that I managed to not get, um, hmm, maybe... Spear throwing distance. Maybe. I think that's or honestly... Greater health, I think... but that's so helpful. So helpful. I feel like the spear is like the meta of this game. Yeah. If you can spear people. Throw the spear, collect the spear. Yeah. That's a knife guy who can only hurt you when he's near you. Uh, Vitoga says it seems like it has it seems it has more than 160 pixels wide, probably 320, which could mean artifacts could appear on CRTs. Yeah, it it does look like it's a 320. Nice. Oh, no. oh, I didn't think oh, about it's that. It's so hard to see the angles. It is kind of nice knowing that the spear will kill. Yeah, and... there It's like, this game has certainties. There is no missing in this game. You Ooh, always hit. Or health. They always hit, and you always hit. Damn, I wish I had a different one. I almost might just do spear throwing distance again. I might do that too. There might, it helps with the guys with the flamethrowers and the guys with the guns. There might be a real honest tactic to this game to just triple down <laughs> on spear throwing. Yes. Um, although I need some... I, the thing is interesting is I need energy now. Now you can spear that guy. Oh, but I don't the have the energy, right? Oh, no. So that is where energy on kill, I think, becomes like a huge... Oh, get him now. I think I got him. Okay, good. Oh, poor doggy. Oh, oh no! Because he can move two. The dogs. That's what you got to watch out for. Where's my... Got one health left. Why can't I uh, throw my spear? just haven't gained enough energy. So that's a grenade guy on the left. That's fine to move there. Now you can throw your spear. Now you have enough energy. Okay. I think I might just like not do it though. And build it up? Um, just because I feel like I kind of need some. Especially with this grenade guy. There you go. Get him on the run. Because he won't throw it because it's too near to him, right? Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Hope for like maybe a mm, greater, greater health? health. I think is maybe the play. I really want that energy on options? kill, but yeah. I kind of think I need health at this point. Yeah. Um, because I, I the restore health feels so bad if you just have three <laughs> slots. Um, and I got enough to throw my spear. So okay, so what do we got here? Got a grenade guy. Got a rifle. It's got tough. A, got a knife. Got a dog. So you gotta watch that okay. dog. He moves quick towards you. Yep, that's safe. Yep, attack that guy. Ooh, get the dog, get the dog. Yep. Move away from that. Don't get cornered by the grenade guy, remember. Because if you move down to that bottom right, 
Which one should I hit? Maybe this. Oh, uh, the guy with the gun, I think. And then you can use the grenade guy to go bottom right. Yeah. Perfect. Grab your spear. Get in line. You're perfect. No, you're in the line. You're in line. But I oh, kind of no don't energy. want. I kind of. That's why I, I think energy on kill is like. It's gonna help a lot. Gotta do it. I, I need health though. Whoa, um, you're one health. Oh yeah. boy, I don't know if that was the wrong move. You gotta be super careful now. Don't oh, make I'm the thinking wrong I'm moves. fucked. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize I thought I had two and I don't have any energy. Mm, this might be rip. It says rip, I think. Oh wait, let me look at those movements because those might take two turns up to move through those. Oh, I just died going into the dog. Because <laughs> they move too. Because they get to move and an attack. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, abandoning the bonus box. Add two points, then multiply by the current level number. Who cares about points? Uh, I'd rather get the box. Death by special attack or explosion. Close combat. Oh, these are all points. No, who cares about that. Oh, how did I, how did I get... See, that's like re reset, right? Like... <laughs> Pretty much. Just just move around and die. Just get shot, I guess. Just move into his line of fire. No, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> that's the opposite of what you oh, want to do. Oh, god damn it. Now he doesn't even know you're there. Okay, well, <laughs> you did too well. Fuck. Your tactics were too good. This is way too good. Okay, well, whatever. Greater health. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, you're going to keep... Keep going. Oh, okay. Why I mean, not? why not? Uh, Just have to be careful until you get restore health. Attack him. Perfect. Go get the box right away. Too far. I don't have extendo, extendo throw yet. Was it a grenade thrower? Uh, yeah, he is a grenade thrower, but he won't kill himself, so. Oh. It's nice that it lets you move all those. What do you think? Maybe spear throwing distance? Probably. Oh yeah, it's so good. If you go down to one, I would definitely do restore health yeah, or yeah. increase health. Okay. Grenade guy up there, knife guy there. Okay, maybe go towards the grenade guy and those guys will follow and then he'll throw a grenade and kill his buddies. Hopefully both of them. Yeah. You Double can throw kill. through. That's what they said. Nice. Watch the dog. Kill the dog. Kill the dog. No, no, no. He's going to attack you if you don't do that. What? But see, that's the weird part about the dog. It's a double. He gets two turns, the dog. Damn. Yeah, you're going to have to restore health. Careful on the bottom there. Don't get trapped. I think I got him. Yeah, you got him. Okay. I think it is a restore health kind of day. Yeah. Or I, greater health? Uh, yeah, because, well, that puts you up to two and gives you four slots. Or gives you five let's slots. Let's push, let's push. Do it. Uh, there you go. I'm kind of... Push off the restore health to one more. Just because I'm like... The, I, it's kind of a scuffed run anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like... It's true. I'm spearing that fucking dog. Sorry, I, I realized <laughs> out of context. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm gonna lo I love, I love the, my canine friends. They're so nice. Up. Oh. oh, you gotta get out. Of, you gotta move up. Like there. Oh, yes. There, 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 there. The dog won't get you there. Now you're f fubard. <laughs> uh, wait. Okay. Down will kill the dog. Down will also keep you out of the knife guy's way. I think the thing and it'll, the guy will throw the grenade, but you'll be able to move again. So I think I, the issue though is that if I move to attack hits. the dog, the dog's gonna hit me no matter what. Um, or the knife guy will hit you if you don't move. So I'm almost thinking I'll spear the dog, take the hit from the knife guy, or or hit the dog. Just hit the dog. Let's hit the dog. Because then, oh okay okay we got. Oh him. you get advantage. 
Okay. And then watch this, dude. Watch. Right through. Oh, watch double this, hit. Pierce. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now watch that guy. He's got his gun out. Don't, don't move into his line of fire. That's is that in his fire? Feels like it might be. I don't feel like that is though. It is. Oh no. Okay. No. Uh, this might spare him. He's in. I, your I line don't of have oh, no energy. I don't have. It. Up is out of his way though. No. Yes. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Is that? No, that's in his way. Oh, okay, shit. <laughs> this is bad. It's hard. It's so. That's the hardest part is figuring out that, like, am I in their line or not? It is hard to see. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You are Mr. Knife. Oh. Why does he get. Can you figure out the um, advantage rules? Yeah, yeah. Because that seems, got not quite seems like them. seems like important. Because sometimes we almost like there, there. the slice attack and thrust attack. Those are the two moves. Because I moved into his spot beside him, but he hit me. Clip that bit out and post it. No! Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> out of context. And have like some, have like the music, Sarah McLaughlin music, and yeah. some starving puppies in there. This is gonna and be, just repeat his did, saying over and over. You did me dirty with the B roll. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, HR would like a feeling. <laughs> like to hear about this. That's right. Okay, I was I was I was a predator, okay? <laughs> it was you got it you gotta understand what was happening. They have double it, movement. Context. Context. <laughs> They're so hard. Context. I was dodging grenades, guys. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Mom. Oh god. Okay. This is weird, like it's just telling me about the attack, but it doesn't really explain like the action sort of like how it works, it doesn't explain yeah. it. Like it's like it says when approaching directly towards the enemy and moving onto an adjacent tile, thrust attacks works also when you jump into a tile. Slice an, an adjacent enemy by moving diagonally to another tile. You can attack two enemies at the same time when they're on an adjacent. It's only when I'm being a predator. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat there? Why don't you have a seat? Like if I move here, I should be able to, to attack him immediately. And it works. It's weird. I don't understand why sometimes it does and doesn't. Maybe it's because a knife guy had his knife out. Yeah. And you have to get him when he doesn't have his knife out. Okay, we're definitely doing spear throwing distance. Yeah, it's so strong, especially when you can yeah. get that pierce attack going. Oh, man, I felt like I was so close to... So I got to restore health, I would have been so good on the... I had a good last run. He's got his knife out. No, but I was able to get him because I moved. Not sure. Can I get him without a spear? Yeah. Spear for you. Upgrade again for me. Spear throwing distance. I'm gonna go for that. Severe weather alerts for Vancouver. Oh no. Of course they say that for fog. So I'm not sure. I'll check it out later. Not relevant. Okay, dogs. Got him. Got him. See, that hit me and he didn't have his knife out. Damn it. Now I want an increase health. Please, because that would be perfect, perfect, perfect. No. So we haven't done jumping at all. I mean, I'm wondering if we're getting kind of maybe too pigeonholed into into our playstyle. Like perhaps we yeah. should perhaps you should explore this grappling hook business and see. Let's do it. Because when you jump, you can also attack. 
So yeah. when you're beside them, so, and I didn't realize that there's almost like a jumping attack. Right. So I don't have the energy now, but. Ooh. Damn. And oh, man. You need a freeze frame, zoom in on his face with the Sarah McLaughlin song playing. That's right. Erlen stabs dogs, clipped by RC7. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this, oh, but it's happening. No. <laughs> let's see. Let's what... see. Let's see the damage. Let's see how, how dirty it was done. Yeah, let's see it. Because let's check this out. Twitch, close that off. Go to the channel. Let's go to the clips. Let's go to the channel. There we go. No! Show it to me. Okay, okay, I'll uh, I'll keep, I'll yeah, keep you, hitting you it. You start a new game. We'll play one more. Oh, how come I can't get the clips? Board. Content clips. There we go. Oh! Oh, I took the hit. I took the hit. <laughs> oh, it cut off. Oh, that's so sad. It doesn't have the content. That fucking <laughs> oh, it's not a it's not perfect clip. That's clip okay. too early and and um not long enough, but what do you think? Good. More energy per kill? Oh, that's so good, good to get more energy per kill. But spear throwing distance, I think, is so important I think early. It's too OP. Let's do the spear throwing distance. He piled shy so quick, I just cut it super fast. Oh, I see. <laughs> so you thwarted their uh, efforts to. to to do it's still, you it's in. still, it's, it's not a good clip, man. Uh -uh. It's not a good clip. I'm sure if we take it to like a uh, an audio engineer they could clean up the do a nice roll off on yeah, it man. so that it still sounds good maybe splice in some other oh like, i mean for me dog. like having <laughs> talking about me killing animals on the internet it's not so you didn't get you there i'm not I don't quite understand, sure I don't understand the rules I don't understand. it didn't cut off dog when i was previewing it oh i cut off it for me so it might have clipped it differently. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find out. Take that. Really, I just don't understand when they can hit you and when they can't yet. We got to do greater health. It is the only way. Moving. Okay. And their prey. You can only move one cell. Okay. Slice attack. Slice an adjacent enemy by moving diagonally. To another tile next to that enemy. How come I can't throw it sideways? That's confusing. Do you see? Oh. It is not an option. Hmm. What? There is yeah, no it should option. be. Now you could throw it. Oh, anyway. Get hit by that grenade. Don't get backed into a corner with those grenades. Don't, Don't go to that lower one at all. Now you can rush them there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, those. How's that range? How is this? this okay, I think I figured it out. I figured it out. The brutality. Okay, so I think I'm in his line of shot there, you right? You are right but now. Here I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm in his line of shot yeah. and here? Not there. Okay, cool. Get the spear. But yeah. I had to get shot by him, right? Nope. Are you sure? Yeah, he's up one. Okay. Now you can, yeah, you can spear him. That's a much safer route. Take that. So I figured out Take the that. why why we're getting hit. Oh, why is that? So you have to to get them when you're not next to them. You have to approach them directly. You can't approach them on the side. Then they'll hit you. But if you're already on the side and you move to the side again, that's when you slice them. So that movement, they can hit you. And he's in and he's gonna hit me. Yeah, right? so I move up 
another direction somewhere. You know. See, that's why you got hit, because you came at an angle to him. You have to go directly to him. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Oh, no. Wait till it... You can't pass a turn by staying and just pressing B there while you're in the same spot. He's in your... It's too far to throw. Throw the... Yeah. <gasps> no, I want to play one more. Your face is up on a poster oh. at the pet store. Do not sell a puppy to this man. <laughs> oh, no. Errol, and you're banned from... It's just, it was just the Jaguar game. <laughs> no. You're going to have to go on a, uh, an apology tour now. Yeah. Uh, see, now if I go here, I can slice him. Okay. This is making me more sense. Yeah. It's now I can, game, though, now I can rush shit. him and get him by going directly to him. Yeah. That's how... So this is very, uh, very chess-like because everything works. There is no randomness in yeah, this. Yeah, it's tactics, man. It's, yeah. a, it's a tactic-heavy game. I like this game a lot. This might be so do of, I. Might be one of my favorites we've played on the on the, uh, the, the show, actually. Oh, on the show. Just in general. Yeah, this, this is right up your alley. Very addictive. It's turn-based. It's tactics. It, there's... It's hitting all the spots and <laughs> all the sweet spots. All my, all the stuff. I, I also like. I love turn-based stuff. That's sort of the basis of, of a lot of RPGs. Oops. Do are you gonna do the Pierce? Yeah. <gasps> no. <Not yet. laughs> uh. Yeah. You, with the Pierce, you're almost better off like just letting it happen when it happens. You know. Pretty much. I think I'm gonna do <laughs> that. Ooh, I can get the guy to the right. I can get the grenade guy. I think I'm gonna get the guy to the right here. Might be an easier play because I think getting towards where that spear is, I would not go down. Because no, I think you need. Shoot me. Yeah, you you need an escape route. <gasps> oh, no. There we go. Almost. <laughs> bit by bit, I'll get there. Uh, if I move up, I'm in the line of fire. If I move there, I'm fine. You can just kill him now. Go up. Oh yeah. Close the go. distance. I just grab your spear and. Yep. That's safe. Now I can. Can you? Ooh, I think I'm too far. He's gonna hit you though. But yeah. I'm starting now. I'm understanding. I'm really seeing the uh, the the angles finally. Yeah, now so now you're in his range. Now I spear. Yeah. Now it's a lot more understandable. Now there shouldn't, unless we put ourselves in a bad position, we should know how to. I'm gonna go for spear throwing. Yeah, it's actually I might mm, more energy. Honestly, you yeah. need all, the problem is you need all three, but I think more energy is a good one to get so then right I can off. Keep throwing the spear and keep doing things. Yeah, it just it basically gives you more action economy. Okay. Um, ever play Cataclysm: Dark Days Ahead? It's the only roguelike I ever wanted to play more than a few minutes. Oh. This feels like a light version of it. That, I haven't played that. I'd love to try it though. So if I move there, the dog will move one, two, and then you can maybe close the distance. Damn it! I can't. The dog's gonna hit me. Yeah. Oh, uh, I gotta slice yeah, this yeah, guy, and then I'm gonna hit by the dog. But then you're gonna get. Um, yeah. Then I'll slice the dog. Um, but now you've got tons of um, energy, so you can throw that. Yep. Um, you're in the line of fire, though. I yeah. Am. Um, not there. I'm not. Yeah, close the distance. Is that that's the line of fire? Oh no, he's trapped me. He's gonna shoot me. Oh god. Now just hit him with a spear. Yeah. Well, on this level, it's fine. You can trap myself. In an ideal world, um, you'll get a, a greater health, so it gives you an extra health, and then you're. Hmm. There's also a world. Now that I'm like thinking about this game more tactically, there might be, actually be something to be said about just going for greater health right off the top. So right. that to, to juice your health, because the other things are more quality of life versus like they we are. we keep dying, <laughs> um, and then we the and then problem, we keep yeah. not like restoring, we keep not restoring our health 
um, for like the the very legitimate reason of like well we don't have enough points to justify it so it might actually be yeah. smart because these it's easier to kind of navigate these um, but I feel like we need more health um, yeah just to get us through yeah because I think it's easier to survive the first few levels right damn it it's so easy to forget right and because they're also I think it's tough because their range is so much bigger than it, it is you just don't count it out let's see if you can spear him oh yeah I can right now because really really get like him. honestly um the th flamethrower and the gun guys are the only people who are killing us like everyone so else true. is super navigatable so it's almost like clear them out first ideally with like the, yeah, the, the spear. spear and then like kind of manage the rest so like here oh, greater health I, I probably do greater health and then and see it take the gamble and then we can yep. try and restore on the next one yeah but but yeah i'm thinking that like if we had a couple greater healths right off the top then it's like a little bit easier but it's tough because we need the spear throwing distance we need the life on on the energy on kill so that yeah if spear you can, prime sp candidate but this flamethrower guy oh it's not as far okay yeah yeah get get, get that dog it's tough we gotta get our spear back yep we do just have to be very there we go god go now i gotta avoid this guy it shouldn't be too Ooh, yeah yeah you right into damn it, it. Cause, Cause, I think that like with this here, like, yeah, yeah, keep going. Oh, oh yeah, I was getting because the pattern is up <laughs> down, up so down. It's so hard to down. tell. I'm starting to see it more now, though. Like, I can see it's a lot clearer. One more, one more. <laughs> it's one so more good. Time. One more. Such a good game. Oh, well, why shouldn't I? It's it's what? Wow. Why shouldn't <laughs> I? <laughs> um, do you ever have that that old <laughs> ring of mine? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to hold it one last Just time. One last time. <laughs> Do you remember that old ring, Frodo? <laughs> um, this is one of those games where you com completely blame yourself for dying. Like, there's no excuses for dying in this game. At, at the points that... Yeah. At the points we're... At the level we're playing... Like when it's filling the screen up, then I'm gonna, there's like I'm gonna do my 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 yeah. like my health, theory. Health, health. Um, just I, just because I think now if I get screwed up, I actually don't feel as bad doing the restore health. Yeah. Um, and that's in line with like typical RPG um, tactics as well. Health right away. Um, cause it's, it is that thing where, so this is a gun guy. Yeah, so these guys I'm just gonna ignore and I'm gonna just hunt this gun guy. Yeah. Oh, he's got him. Yeah, nice. And nice so if one, I grenade did... guy. Now I can use your spear. Oh. Perfect. Rush him. Yeah. Are the boards pre-designed to be winnable or they're random? It says they're random. Um, but I'm going to do more energy just so that. Oh. You got, or spear you got throwing. Health. I'm trying to think. It's between one of those. More energy per kill, so good. I think more energy per kill. Then you can keep throwing the spear. Yeah, because even even with like, yeah, I kind of feel like this might be the this might be the the tactic. So which is the gun guy again? Top. Top right. But you have to watch out for the dog first. So make sure you're two away and let him come. Like if you go up to the right, the dog will come right to you, and then you can slash him. Watch, oh, now you can throw the spear. I don't think it's, I think he's out of range. Ooh, he is just one out of range. That's okay. It's totally fine. Right? <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, you have to approach him directly on, not an angle. Oh, he blew up the box! Did he box. just destroy our box? No, <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. Okay, well, this just got harder. <laughs> Uh, and without my spear distance, yeah. closing the distance is a lot harder with this guy. But there you go. I did just get him. Damn it! You lost your box. Oh yeah, he can't knife you. Well. Oh no! What a well, tragedy. 
<laughs> well, we have a disadvantage for this, this yeah, run. Watch that dog. Okay. No, 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 he can bite you. You have to move directly towards him. Not, not at the moment, because that... There, now you can knife him by going at an angle. Okay. So. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, no. Remember, there's always an option to cloak if you're down to the last guy, because then you will kill him. Like, you could cloak now. And, um... Okay. And totally take out the knife guy. Okay, um... Probably greater health. Oh, yep. Yeah. Greater health will take you up to three out of five, which is so good. He's a gun guy, though. How yeah. Am, how am I going to do this? I would, cloak. you'd have to do spear, cloak. And I'm guessing you can go through those terrain. Like he can't see you unless you're right next to him. Nice, can you get to your spear again? Oh, okay. Maybe that's just the terrain that looks different. Cool. Um. Okay, careful the dog. Nope, if you move up there, he'll attack you. Cause he moves one bite. If I move here? One, two, yes. That's where you want to go. Now you can attack the dog. Okay, so how do I do it again? So not here? You, yeah, you moved adjacent. Because you're already adjacent to him. Just move into another adjacent. Okay. Then you can attack him. You just don't move into him adjacently. Move hmm. direct, directly to him. Watch that um, flamethrower guy. Yeah, and the gun guy. Oh, God, you got two. That's right into the line of the flamethrower right there. That's the flamethrower, um, and that's the gun guy. That's the gun guy. So we'll just keep. Oh boy, that's moving right towards flame him. Flamethrower, yeah. flamethrower. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, that's flamethrower. So yeah. here. Nice, nice. Um, uh, that's this fine. Actually... Now you can rush. Wait, 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 wait. I think that's safe. Yes, it is safe. It at least gets me a kill. Oh god. Okay, that's careful. kill, right? Yep. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's double the, hit. Because of the flirt frame thrower. Yeah, I was just getting. Perfect. Well, I took a hit. <laughs> yeah. But. Could be worse. I would definitely restore health at this point. Or greater health? Oh, another greater health. That's three out of five. Yes. Greater health. Greater health. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need some spear throwing distance pretty yeah. badly, but I think. See, this is where we keep dying, though. This level, level six. Okay, super careful. Okay, the we got... dog is first, so move... Here? Yes. Now you can get the dog, yep. Now you can get that knife by... Wait, wait, wait. Yes, moving there, because the flamethrower, I think, can get you. And then I gotta go here. Yep. Is that guy trapped? Yeah. He can't move across that, which but we is, can? Which is weird. I think we just gotta save him for last. Yeah. I'm tempted to go up here. No, no. The, the guy, gun guy will shoot you if oh, you go up there. I'm so. go now that's a grenade guy, so you want him to kind of take out those other two. I'm thinking going around. Okay, now know. you gotta be very careful. Maybe. That is safe. All flamethrower though, <sighs> you blast through that thing. Maybe here? No, the flamethrower. Maybe no. honestly here. Let nope, the gun guy will shoot you. Right oh there. yeah, gun guy will. Up is fine. I think it'll. I think I'll get hit by the flame though. No, he's on a. Dip. He's one layer up. Okay, let's let's see. Okay, okay. Careful, careful, careful. Maybe there. That is nope. That's the gun. Straight up is fine. Oh wait, that's a gun too. No matter what, I'm getting oh, hit. Oh, you're screwed. That's okay. <gasps> you're lucky. He, the gun guy didn't shoot you. So I okay, think... You can rush that guy, but the flamethrower guy will get you. But I get a guy. But, uh, I but you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like, if I go here, flamethrower oh, gets me. You've got a spear. Oh, yeah, I can you spear. You could spear yes. that guy. Ooh, what? Oh, no, he was in line with you. Now he's in line with you again. Okay, yeah, move up. Now you can spear the gun guy. Oh, I can't? Oh, but, wait, but I can't. the flamethrower guy's in line with you. Don't, but don't do but it I can anyway. go here. Nope. He'll, right? he'll stab you, I think. What, will I, he? Because guns only shoot. He can shoot you there anyway. No, That's but moving into the line of shooting, shooting you. 
but but I also like but don't I? I'm gonna try and see. I think because I think it'll I'll, I'll get them right. No, nope. you only get them when you go straight towards them. So probably down. Nope. Gun guy shoots you. Maybe gun guy hits me. There is your only safe move. And then that one. The, he'll get you. The, he'll get me there. No, no matter what, he's getting. Oh, no, me. yeah. Oh, perfect! Spear both of them. I don't think I have the range. Oh, he's gonna flame through you there. Yeah, I can't do it. It's not worth it. Um, here on the line. Maybe here. Yes. Maybe here. Yes. <gasps> okay. Um. Oh, perfect! You can rush the gun guy. Hit him. Yep. And or fine. I can spear him. What do you think? No, no, no. That's a Just free. That's a freebie. Okay, got him. Now you can spear the. I don't think I have the range though. Oh god. Okay. Because I still got. I still don't. Have, I still got sure. the shit upgrades. Okay. okay. Now you just have to be very careful. You can go to get the box. You can move towards the box. Yep, that's a valid move. That's a valid move. Up to the left is a valid move. Now you can get the box and you can get the spear distance. Or just restore health. I might just restore health at this yeah, point. Yeah, you can get six health, which is so good. I need like um, I I need that spear upgrade. Yeah, yeah close in on yeah. him. And then this Here. is. Oh, nope, that's next to him. That's... that's next to him. That's not. Now you can flame through him. Now you can spear him. Yeah, yeah, spear this guy. Oh no, he's is that valid? No. No, weird. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait! You can stay in the same position. No, he'll flame through you. Never mind. Or maybe he can't. You know what I'm gonna do? What about this jump? jump. I'm gonna try it and see. He'll get you if you move right next to him. But don't. Doesn't the can I do a jump and attack? After jump, close combat attacks are performed. So yes. <laughs> so let's find out. Let's do it. You got six let's, health. Let's see what happens. Oh. No. Oh, that sucks. I thought. Damn it. Well. I now you can spear that guy. We did it for science. Can they blow their own up, their own guys up too? Yes, and actually helps a lot. Oh. oh, that's not a. So if you move up one, then you can do a diagonal. Because that's not a valid move. There. Now, now spear. Yep. Okay. Level seven. Oh, okay, okay. You're doing pretty good, but range would be nice. So, I mean, I need a kill, basically. Yep. I need a kill really bad. Um, I'm gonna just be careful. The dog. Will that Here. get him? Nope. He'll attack you. Don't go there. Don't go there. Move there. Now move. Yeah. Down to the left. Perfect. Get the knife. You're gonna get flamed there. Oh, we didn't. I think it was. I think we're out of range. Oh, do yep. that. There you go. Oh, yeah. Dude, I wish I could see. You gotta get the hell out to the right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There. Oh no! Oh, I forgot about that. There's so many things <laughs> happening all at once. Am I? Am I in the flame range? I think I am. Yep, you are. Oh, up to the right. Oh no. Oh, that goes into flames. Oh no. Maybe you can jump. No, you can't. Can you go to that bush? That bottom no. right? Can you go there? No, I can't. Okay. You gotta go there. Uh, but. Damn it. Oh! Went right into his line of fire. Oh my god. You're making crazy moves. You're being getting very lucky. 
No, not there. You're jumping on the grenade. I think that might be oh, it, Oh, right? no, it's one or the other. I would go, the grenade's a certainty. I would go down. Because sometimes they don't shoot for some reason. Right? Yeah. Until they make a mistake. Uh, perfect! Right? Yep, yep. Slice his legs. Get him. There, perfect. Done! Oh, you oh, need to restore health. Yeah, so I feel like bad. I feel like we know what we're going to yeah. do. Yeah, but... you got to. It's going to be God, game over with God, one mistake. But I need, like, I need spear distance and I need... Wasn't even offered there, so... And I also need more energy per kill. But, yeah. but also, like, I think that health has been actually tactically yes. the best option. Because that's what's been getting us. It's just the... Okay. Careful here. I don't think A I can... dog and the flamethrower guy is going to be the problem. So, uh, if you move down to the left, you're out of the flamethrower, and the dog is going to be beside you. Let's do that. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yes. Nice oh, double kill. Double kill. Can you can't multi kill. Multi kill. You can't spear that guy. Um, I feel like this is guy. probably the only way, right? Yep. Yeah. I gotta get out of these lines. These lines of fire. Um, probably here, right? Yes. Perfect. Right here. Uh, no, because the flamethrower guy will get you. But then here. Yes. But then the gun. No, no. no. Did Got him. Okay, plane. good. Ooh. I just don't have the range. <laughs> We need that range upgrade so bad. Yeah. Um. Maybe yep. here. Yep. Yeah. That's, no. Oh, no. Missed it. That's okay. Oh, oh no. this guy. No. It's all falling apart. Oh. oh I think here. Yes. Oh shit. Now that guy has got you in the gun. You can't move to the right. You can't move down. I think this is the only That's option. It. That other guy doesn't doesn't have a grenade doesn't. to help you out with. It's hard to say, is that, so this is, is he gonna hit me there? That gun up to the right will hit you. Uh, maybe. But the bottom left is safe. Here, yeah. Bottom right is not safe. Down is like... safe. <gasps> yeah. You're gonna get hit if you move there, but you gotta take him out. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe gun guys, maybe only knife guys can do that. That might be a key. Yeah, yeah, because this is that changes some of our tactics. Yes. Oh boy. So what do we got? Ooh, Getting hit. That hit. This is that's safe. not safe because he can gun guy can shoot straight across. Oh yeah, that's right. Um so probably here. Not safe. That's safe. Okay. Oh, I need that range so bad. Get on it. Up here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it just gonna happen over and over? It's entirely possible, but how far can you jump? That's true. Ooh, that's not bad. You could jump uh, way up. Oh, yes. Jumping. And you still have a spear and a jump. Um, you okay. could cloak. I, I don't have the points. Oh. Um, I'm safe here. Hey, yep. Yeah. And then safe here. Oh, yeah. Safe move here. Up, move up. Safe no. here. Yep. Safe here. Until safe he here. Yeah, safe get him here. in a corner. Safe here. Safe here. Push him to the top. This is like a king. <laughs> Just push the king into the corner. And then that's... He can blast you there. He can blast you there. Blast. He can't. He can blast you there. So you have to stay in... You can move down. Or you could jump. Uh... Oh, no. Okay, that was a waste. No. Get the box. You can waste upgrade a, your waste of points. Yeah. But... Okay, so oh no, I, I guess distance. I kind of feel like just restore health. Yeah, at honestly, because who would have thought monochrome game would be the Jags killer rap for you guys? It's all about gameplay. It's oh not man, about like colors. Good, like, yeah, who cares? It's like, not about parallax scrolling. It's about gameplay, and this has oodles of it. 
Yeah, I mean, chess is not complicated no, in terms of, just, like, what it is. It's only a couple rules to chess. But it's, like, infinitely <laughs> just, like, there's it just never ends. Yeah. Ooh, he's got you there. He's got you there. This guy here. I think here is safe, right? Nope. Uh, straight across? Yes. That's that's no good. Up to the right. Maybe. That but that guy's guy going to shit you. me. So only down is your safe bet. It's not good to get cornered like that. That is not good. He'll hit me. That's fine. Ooh, they moved away. Good. Okay, watch for that dog. If you move there, that's good. Then you'll get the dog. Oh, shit. Damn it. There's too many guys. Oh, that's good. He's going to shoot oh. you again. There you go. Oh, boy. Moving up, you'll get shot and flamethrowed. Maybe just here. That. No, I'm gonna get shot, I think. You're going to get shot there. But then I'm cornered. Yeah. But you're not gonna get hit. I don't know. Maybe here? No, it can get shot there. Maybe here? That's crazy, though. Yep. How, how aggro do we go? Let's... But he's a knife guy. He's gonna stab you. But, I don't know. This is getting dark. <laughs> getting really cornered you're gonna have to make some sacrifices i think some life. I, I think i'd rather jump and take out one of these guys then you're not cornered as much oh, oh boy yeah two at once or not two at once that is approaching him and you'll kill that guy if you go up up to the right and you won't be but i think i'll be line hit. of fire you won't be in the line of fire there either okay that's line of fire that's fine And then that'll hit him. You're, no. There you'll hit him. Okay, good. Yep. That's good. That's good. But, but oh, it's, is that a gun on the bottom right? No, nope, he's a grenade guy on the okay. bottom right. Oh, shit. So he's fine. Yeah, keep approaching him. Is that the flame? Is that flame guy gonna... Right now he is. Right now he's gonna hit me? Okay, yeah. I gotta get out of his chain. Perfect, that'll hit him. Nice. Is that I'm out of his? I think you're gonna be able to draw the grit there. Perfect. He's just gonna die. Nice. No! Oof. Perfect. Corner him. Perfect! He threw instead of move. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Nice. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, he's not giving you the spear distance. There's only one option. I think that's greater health. Greater health, for sure. Yep. Gives me more more juice. Wouldn't mind having this on the play date. Yeah, that'd be a perfect one for the play date. Does it have the resolution to oh, achievement support this? blooded. Oh. Uh, what is the blooded? Oh. You made it to level oh. 10? Oh, maybe 10. I think this is level 10. What is let's oh, see. blooded? God. Yeah, level 10. Okay. So that's its X representation of X. It's only 16 levels. Um I'm <laughs> almost thinking of just like taking out this because it's a grenade guy right i yep. don't love being in the corner but nah, i kind of don't but i kind of think like i yep. could get him Should might as well take him out now oh no oh, it's a knife guy oh, oh and not... the dog bit you oh i'm oh. done you are so done oh my god you're done you know what we're gonna do stealth mode that's a good idea the dog can see you when he's next to you but not right now so you want to set yourself up for a good tactical position. Oh, what you want to do is use the spear and throw it through like three guys. Oh, shit, I died. Oh, I thought happened? I was cloaked. That's too bad. Oh. Well, you know what? That was a great first run. blood, young blood, blooded. It's a level 10. We made it pretty damn far. Good game. Oh, that was, I really, really like that great game. game. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. So, uh,. Yeah, something that just is tactically rich. I just think also like you ever played like XCOM? I've seen it. I've yeah, not played it. It's just sort of a more complicated version of this, right? Like it's this format of kind of tactical play of like maneuvering your character, doing things. It's not that it's not actually like it's actually in the same lane as Baldur's Gate. Like it's a simplified version, but it's it mechanically yeah. the same. Like like turn based stuff where you have movement, action points. Yeah. Um, you can only with like calculating those distances and all that stuff. Some some solid classic like 
game mechanics. Also, I think the oh, predator yeah. side of things is nice. Makes too. it even cooler. It gives a little more to it for the cloaking and stuff. And so many details to learn. And um, uh, I think too, like the uh, the the grid lines at times were tricky to figure out. It um, was. There might be a way to like make it more apparent, like where things are in line with each other, because of the height of the people. It kind of throws it off it's like oh is he in line there there the dream and this would probably almost be maybe even too easy is if there's an ability to toggle a button to see the actual range of the enemy's attacks like of a red oh, line oh yeah so just to see like because it's actually hard especially with the flamethrower to know like what's the distance so but i think that would trivialize the game yeah it'd make it a little too simple um, so there's the poll today. What game did you enjoy the most uh, out of all the games? We had Shoot 'Em Up 3D. Oh, oh, second treat time! Wow, the dog! He's got a chance. He's got a so, chance. So, should we do an over under now? I think we should try it out. Let's try it out. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do an over under now. I don't know how this works completely. But I'm going to just do a, a simple one. So let's go to the channel. Cat cats. A simple one. Let's not put ourselves on loop. Stream manager. There it is. Found it. Okay. Start a prediction. Um, let's see. Sprite. Over Atari by how many points? Let's say uh, two, maybe three plus, two plus. So Sprite three plus. Yeah. And then Sprite one to two. Or two plus. Well, you can't. Can't do two plus because that incorporates. Oh yeah, that's oh sprite one to two. Yeah, sprite one to two. Um, and then a tie. And then Atari. Then the opposite way. Yeah, Atari. One to two, and then. And this will never happen. But but oh. Atari, um, two plus, three plus. How's yeah, that? that's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh hey, Rod Castler. And we'll give it one minute because two minutes. I think everybody gets it in by two minutes. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Let's do two minutes. Is well, two minutes still good. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, two minutes is great. Cat cats. And over under on Sprite versus Atari. Changing the bet rules. Yeah, yeah, to make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, we, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's start it. Okay, so now there's five options, not just two. So now because Sprite wins most of the time, we have to divide up the Sprite winning. That's right. By how much will oh, they but tie? But imagine, imagine betting the three plus on Atari and he takes it home. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's huge. Is it possible to have a tie, though? I guess they could actually both simultaneously yep. hit it. It's possible. It's very. I very feel like the tie. Simple. I feel like the safest is the one to two on either end. I think that's the. Those are the yes. most likely. Um, yes. How does a tie work? Uh, they both hit it at the same time, time. I guess. Yeah. It's just unlikely. Absolutely unlikely. They both go ding ding. Like uh, so ding, I think ding. the least likely things to happen. Maybe a tie. You have to get rid of the tie. Yeah, the tie. It, it's never happened before. So don't bet on the tie that right now. Well, or, or, it could happen, oh, but dude, just don't bother. Oh, dude, if you want to, go ahead. I feel, <laughs> I feel like the tie and Atari... It would Atari, be like ding ding. Yeah, I feel like the tie and Atari 3 Plus are the least likely. 3 Pluses, yes. Probably Sprite 1, one to, to two, 2 is is the most like is like the most likely. But I, Sprite takes 3 Plus honestly, sometimes as well. And then I kind of think, unfortunately, Atari 1 to 2 might be... <laughs> That's the a third way. less likely. The third least Please likely. Look, don't look at me like that, Atari. It's like, how dare you? How dare you? It's like, where are my greenies? That's all. I, <laughs> that's all I want. That's what I'm here for. Give me the treats. Give me the. Let's give me the treats. Okay. How much time do we have left for the betting? Three hundred on Sprite. 
plus three. Ooh, ooh. Switch it to the right one. What's nice about this is that um, the odds of like whoever gets it then will get more of a reward. Did it did it start? Did the betting start? Too bad there's only one vote option per person. Oh yeah. Bigger better. That is. That would be. So how oh I can't see them all now. Oh no, it doesn't show them all on the screen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change that. Hey, 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 I'll fix that next time. Nope. He's biting your leg. He's he's raring to go. Give me the give me the cash! Give yeah, that's me. what I was referencing. Give give me the treats! Give me the trees. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, it's closed. What is the largest margin of victory so far? It's been big. Like 10 to 5, I've seen. I mean, that's what we just saw. Yeah. That was, <laughs> it's 10 to 5. That was probably the biggest one I've ever seen. That's a big... Okay, you ready, cats? Okay. It's a new game. So, you it's know... It's a new world. Ramp up your tactics. No, uh, in... No betting on yourselves. And that's Correct. Sprite. Oh, Stolen. Oh, stolen Valor. Okay. Oh, no. Stolen. Still first to 10. Oh, soft touch on Sprite. He's not getting it. He's, he's oh, he gets it. And Atari's, Atari's off to the races. First one. Revenge. Atari's body checking. No, can't hear it. No, can't hear it. Oh, oh my Atari. goodness! Oh, is this going to be an upset? I think it's just because of the soft touch. He's got to get it. Oh, okay, oh, that's it. That was a legit ring. Sprite's still in the lead, though, just by a bit. Cats, 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 cats. Can he tie it up? Oh, Sprite is two ahead now. Atari is wavering. He's he's pawing it. He's not. There he goes. There we go. He gets it. Oh, Sprite is now still two Ooh. ahead. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's been confounded. <gasps> this might be an upset. No, he's got it out. <laughs> okay, Atari's the Atari's still... so bad that it <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Come on, Atari. Get the bell. Whoa, Ooh, Atari. That was a nice hit. He jumped on it. Okay, Sprite oh, again. Keeps his lead of two plus. Ooh, Atari. Atari, five points. We're down to the one spread, one to two spread. No, no, no ring. No ring still, no ring. No ring. Atari's, Atari's oh, got it. Atari. Whoa. It is tied. Uh, oh. Whoa. Oh, I oh, heard that's, that. There we go. We'll give it. that to Sprite. We'll give that to Sprite. Very slight. Very slight. Oh, he's licking his paw. Atari's coming. Oh, he's oh, tied it up again. Yo. This is any cat's game. Any cat's game. No, that didn't count. There we it's go. It's a soft touch. Sprite would be have won this already. Atari is better. He does have some more solid hits today on this round. Sprite is just like pawing at it. Come on, Atari. Oh, Sprite is now at nine. It's nine, seven, nine, Atari. eight. Oh, 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 oh. So anyone who did three plus? Oh, three plus is out now. And there we go. Over. That's game. That's game. 10 8, and he sat on the bell. A 10 8 round. <laughs> <laughs> so it was in the one to two. I'll give you the powers. Oh. Couple more for your efforts. If only brushing my Lost. teeth were as exciting as it's <laughs> for right. these cats. Ten to eight. That see that spread. Let's that's see. much more interesting. Let's see what happens. So the bets one to two on Sprite. Somebody went five. Five percent of the the bets went to uh, Sprite three plus. Which is not a bad. Fifty three of the bits went to Atari one to two. One to two. Um, three people bet on Sprite one to two. Three people. Sp bet on Sprite 3 Plus. Yeah. That, well, it's nice is that like when you're winning now, you're getting more points because there's less people are. in your category. I think uh, you should cut the tie. I think the tie, tie is pointless. Somebody went Atari 3 Plus. Whoa. I don't, that is very rarely happened. Oh, you're very bold that's, that's on that. But you never know, man. Yeah, you never, you know. never know. Okay, Sprite 1 to 2. Let's dole it there's out. There's a minute there where the, the treat got caught in the corner. Oh, that like, could have turned like, things around. Holy shit, this is... So, Al Nefer wins Ow. big. 14,000 on a bet of 5.6 nice. total. So that gets distributed. Congratulations. I have to go with the stupid choice to try out the new system. You got to do it, man. Yeah. And this, you know what? It's only a stupid choice in hindsight because it could have been the best choice, right? Like if you, if it, yep. if it happened, that's the weird that part could, about it. It could have been the best outcome ever. Oh, you, exactly. you get all the points. That's, that's why it's called gambling. Yep. Okay, uh, so best game today, uh, we played Shoot 'em Up 3D, um, kind of the beginnings. Uh, I like the game. There's, I think it needs more power-ups, more obstacles maybe. 
um, but he's still working on it. Uh, where is it? Simple pattern matching game. You know, not much to it. I felt uh, I felt really like I thought I was really good when yeah, I did it did the great. first time. But then on on replay or watching you play, yeah. I, I think the game could is actually a little kind of undertuned. Like it doesn't feel like I think the timer could be a bit quicker. Like yes. it just actually feels like a fairly like it's a very generous game. Like I, I think It'd be it's good for kids for pattern yeah. matching, but it doesn't have that stress. So it, maybe it needs different levels of ability. It's like easy, medium, hard, and hard is like you gotta hustle. And I and I think like quick. like this it might be too tall of an ask, but it'd be interesting for it to start with like a smaller square and then grow to be bigger. That's um, a good idea. There's lots of like options with that, and then and also even for like your your box to only have to match four. Like that's the other thing too is that finding the like the right pattern. Four would be harder than to uh, match nine because I was looking patterns of three and diagonals and and clumps of four but only two to match is going to be so there's interesting ways to play with it but i like those pattern matching games oh that's a good idea number one needs uh more than one more than a straight tunnel even just for sort of just turns yeah that would help even just for immersion right like there is kind of like it reaches a moment where there's kind of an absurdity where you're like is this (laughs) tunnel just yeah you know um starfighter uh good start yeah um it needs to, like, the things I mentioned on the show, like, stay in the direction you point rather than keep going pointing up. I don't, I doubt he wants to put inertia on there and momentum because he didn't start with that. Um, the pattern can vary each round or even inside the rounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the pattern could change. Like, the whole board pattern could change. So you don't memorize it. Even though I didn't anyway. Yeah. Some people might. Um, yeah, Starfighter, you need power ups, I think. That'll really enhance the game. And stay in the direction you're pointing. Yeah. And fix obviously fix the bugs of and not I, being able to shoot at the bottom. And I also like I don't know if it's just you, but I kind of felt like the game like like when I think of like the the reference what is it meteor uh, asteroids, it's asteroids sorry. yeah <laughs> asteroids um I feel like the the asteroids are very they're more variable in size and you're smaller and yeah. it almost feels like there's more on screen like almost like we're feel- zoomed out farther like in that it almost feels like we're very zoomed in yes. and like we have a very small box we're quite big and. Quite claustrophobic. It, they, al- it almost feels like if we were to just like shrink everything, it yes. would it would actually for more me room. more room to maneuver and also like I think would be a little more in line with the reference because it, it does almost feel to me like you know when you turn on your your computer and it's on like a like a resolution and <laughs> everything's like zoomed in a little bit massive. But obviously yeah. you don't want it to be too big. But that was my feeling. It just kind of did just a feel little different. Yeah, like mm-hmm. I think if everything was shrunk immediately, it would feel like we have more yeah. to play. With. Fatoko says the objects are too big for the playfield, so just yeah. shrink everything down. Yeah, and same with you. Like, guess everything is smaller. I, think. I mean, the big graphics are nice to look at, but just like seventy-five percent of what it is, even fifty, you could go as far yeah. as fifty. Yeah, um, and I think that would just open up more ability to maneuver, and I think it would just also like help a lot too when there's more stuff on screen. Yeah. Um, and the hunt, a magnificent no notes. It's great. Yes, it's so um, fun. I mean, I guess my only note would be to find a way to at least make it somewhat clearer the paths. There were times where I really right. was like struggling to see and think about like, are we in the in the diagonal or not? But that's also part of the fun of the game is figuring that out. So I don't because know. That's where you mess up. It's like, oh, I didn't I see that, this, right? And... Um, yeah, they could possibly in instill a, an easy mode where it shows lines. Whenever, like, you pretend to move to a, squ- a square, and it's like, oh, no, it'll draw a line from that guy to you. So it'll be obvious that you'll be shot by that person. Yeah. Or even if it were, like, I just wonder if, like, the dots, if they'd almost be, if there's a, a better shape so it's easier to see. Like, I, I don't know, but there's just, there's something about, like... They it, could do hexes. Like that, a, a full hex board. Which it might honestly be a bit easier to sort of visually see it, but I also I think it would. I I think that's the only parameter is, but it's hard because if you overtune that, it becomes too easy. If you undertune yeah. it, it's too hard. Yeah. So and it's actually not at a bad place where it is currently. It's totally just, fine. It's just I there was a little bit of rage at times where I'd be like, is <laughs> Damn, this I missed is it. this in the line or not or is this sideways because there yeah. is a kind of weird the separation is not much yeah. between the two pl- uh, planes right um but... i got distracted and didn't get the game rolls yeah sorry um um yeah 
it took it's, us. It's about moving and whether they get the first hit or you get the first hit. It depends on where you're moving from and to and what kind of character they are. Yeah, because gun people will move. We we sort of figure it out at the end, but I mean, that's also the beauty of the game is discovering right. that. And yeah. when you make a mistake and go, oh, but my, so my, smart. oh, thank you for subscribing, Kabuto Kenzo. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying it. And I'm going to go for four. Yeah, I'm going to go with four. It's really hard. That's I, magnificent. I, one, of the, one of the cooler games I've played, but it also hits all the marks for me. Like, I like I like this style of game a lot. So that's also, like, important to always sort of, like, mention is that yeah. when you have a personal taste, it's, like, naturally you're going to like. Because, like, yeah, like, like platformers and, like, sh and like shooters aren't my favorite, but the, you love but them. But I love them, so I'll have a bias for those. And, and I love RPGs have a bias and that. tactic stuff. So it's just, well, it showed we both enjoyed that one for sure. Yeah. Because it's so good. We just want to keep playing. I'd still be playing, but, you know, we've yeah, got to get on with our day. That's exactly right. Um, Kabuto Kenzo says, Hello, I haven't been here a while, but I always watch you on a delay basis on YouTube. Awesome. Oh, thanks for having me. Hello to the YouTube in, people. Man. Um, Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know if you're here for the whole thing or if you, like, uh, came, just yeah. came in near the end. But it's good to have you for however long you were here. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, so what's coming up on the show? We got some, we got some big stuff coming up. Uh, let me show you... So we have Atari Age Day has the date now. We're going to be talking to all the devs, including some Jaguar devs, 2600, 7800 devs, 5200 Lynx devs as well. The whole gamut. Uh, Lynx for the first time. First games being sold by Atari Age th that are uh, Lynx. So we'll be talking with Al Yerusso as well off the top of it. Nice. And every, we're going to unbox every single game oh. that's new to the Atari store. Do you and know, to kick off the December that's Christmas right. season. Kick off the Christmas season. So that's oh. going to be on the 17th, and they'll be available for you to buy in the store on that day. Very nice. So you'll get a preview of what all the games are like and the boxes for them. Um, uh, this Sunday, we're going to continue, actually finish up, the Atari Jaguar's 30th anniversary classic gaming countdown, day three. Uh, the last half of 19, or December 95 to 1998, 24 games. Some of the CD games work, some of them different. Be sure to hydrate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the uh, Atari HD is eight hours long. Yo, okay, yeah, you're going to go in. Yeah, go hard on that one. Uh, yeah, maybe get a little caffeine in there, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Halfway through, a little pick-me-up. A little yerba mate. Yep. On Tuesday, we have an exclusive final version of Jutland Skies. Oh, sick. Um, also, on the 19th, our Atari Holiday Homebrew Special, we have a brand new world premiere from Muddy Funster Muddy. called Wilf. Okay. Nobody's seen it yet, but we have the exclusive world premiere. It's not themed for holiday, but it'll be our present to you nice. to show you this awesome new game. Uh, I'm not sure what its plans are, whether there's going to be a demo released before uh, the new year. He usually does. But we'll see if it'll be available on that we day. We shall see. Um, the four-player special has been pushed to January. It's just so much going on in yeah, December. I was hoping to get it done earlier, but some things hinge on hinge on other things, and those things aren't ready yet. Yeah, and you just let me know when, when and throw out yeah. some dates, and I'll just when it we'll lock it in when you when you have a sense. Yeah, the options are either do it on a Friday and Tanya has a day off, like it's a holiday, or we do it on a Saturday. Um, Friday's great for you. Oh, Friday's Saturday. great for it for Darcy. Saturday works for me too. Yeah. As long as we just like, as long as we, I can just put it on my calendar, yeah. then I'll know. Give you lots of heads up. Probably two weeks. At yeah. least. Oh yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Um, and of course, February, we're revealing the nominees for the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. The new... Um, it's that season already. It is. It's award season. Mm -hmm. It. Uh, we're into December. It's the last month of submissions. Submissions. Nobody submits. It just... We include all the games, um, but it does cut off at the end of December. So, uh, and then they do all their nominee, uh, the nominee committee whittles it down six per category. And that's the date we reveal all the nominees. Ooh. And then of course, February 24th, a Saturday is the Atari Homebrew Awards live presentation. The big event of Pop. the year. When it when everything pops off. Oh, everything! Yeah, we get the green screen out, get our nice outfits on, start handing out awards. 
Um, so lots of great things coming up on the show. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, some good games. I wanted to catch up on these these smaller Jaguar games. Like they're not big productions. I don't or think I've played the Jaguar before. Actually, I think oh, this really? is literally the first time I've ever played the oh, Jaguar. Great. It's possible on the show that I did maybe once before. Possible, but I don't remember it because I feel like I when, when I was on the show quite a bit, yeah. we were mostly just doing Atari games at that mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. And I think kind of during COVID, I feel like is when you started. To branch out oh, more. That might have been true. Yep. And I feel like around, and that was obviously social distancing and you and Tanya sort of focused. Yeah, it was just me and Tanya for a couple of years. Yeah, and then I started to come back and I was like, oh, we're doing things other than the 2600. Yeah, we got the 8-bit, we've got the Jaguar now, we've got yeah. the Lynx now. So, yeah, But this is out. definitely the first time I kind of, uh, I note that, because I've never seen that Jaguar like um, <laughs> logo. Gout out. I may have played the Jag before, but I don't remember. Not a ringing endorsement of the Jag. Yeah. It, it does. But I don't. I don't. But we use like uh, arcade controllers, <laughs> so we don't have like. <laughs> yeah. So like, <laughs> that's, a funny, that's a good point, Kevin. Deb. <laughs> like, have you used this? I don't. Uh, I think I have this, used this before. Okay, so, okay, you probably, so I have. You that. have. Okay, okay. Because this is the normal controller. Okay. I mean, I I get arcade controls for every system. <laughs> uh, it would be hard to get six nominees for an Atari Eight category. Uh no, there's a lot of Atari Eight Bit games. There's like. Probably more than the 2600. I haven't added it up. They're really close. Yeah. I actually separated out the Atari 8-bit. Uh, or no, it was the Jaguar this year. But Atari 8-bit is probably going to be separated out into best graphics and and sound next year. Yeah. Because there's so many Atari 8-bit um, games now. There are always, There's always been. But we have to ease into this slowly and yeah. ramp it up slowly. But the trophy... I'm picking up the trophy soon, the new Ooh. one. Last year was 3D printed, which left a lot of like um, texture, let's yeah. say, all around it. And so Tanya had to do some clever manipulation to it. This one is a solid piece of acrylic with sharp edges. Nice. It's going to be look a hundred times better than the one we did this year. So we'll get better and better. Now, did you group eight, Atari 8 and 52? Yes, we've yeah. always done that because 5200 has one release a year you're lucky if you get more than one release a year because really there's one hardcore 5200 dev and some people do 5200 games as like um a side project it's like oh they both compile so i'm just going to do a 5200 yeah. so we do have a lot a lot of cross compiled 5200 games this year by coincidence but they're also on the 8-bit yeah but 5200 specific it's usually like one or two per year so there isn't enough to sustain its own category if it ever takes off like crazy yeah so we'd we'd have to have like six minimum That's i think is like the cutoff to make a new category but i i'm not going to do that until it's like for multiple years there's 5200 games um, thanks for hanging out with us, Gavadev, Vitoko, Mike Latow, Al Nefer, Kabuto Kenzo, thanks again for the sub. Uh, Thomas, uh, Dan AVC, Gamer Composer. Uh, you make music for games? Most likely. I hope so. X Can X, Rod Castler, Carl G. Um, I'm really liking the new game, the new. Uh, betting system. Yeah. Just have to refine it a bit. I'm glad I did it today that we know how to refine it because there's no a, ties. It's right? all a growing process, right? Yep. I think you, four categories will be good. It's solid. And I like that. One that, to two, three plus, one to two, three plus on either side. Yeah. And also gives us more data, more of a spread. Oh, yeah. And, and if it, there's. And like you said, the winners will be bigger now. Yeah. Yeah. But the more losers, too. <laughs> so you got to get it right. It just became harder rather than a yes. coin toss. Yep. Ivory Tower Collections. Um, oh, Mind Threat. Who else? And everybody else that has been. Yes, I do. Professionally. Awesome. Oh, man. We'd love to hear some is, of this is stuff. Is it for any of the Atari on, systems? Because I don't recognize the name from the forums. Um, or is it from new newer games on newer systems regardless yeah you know, i'd love that's to i'd love so to hear cool. some of your stuff man that's yeah, awesome yeah link it next time or now um and we'll watch listen to it off stream um and that's it so thanks for tuning in yeah thanks so much guys the next time oh smelly cats next time <laughs> we'll be back on sunday for finishing off the jaguar and then back on tuesday with tanya 
for some, I think, 2,600 games. Yes, Jetland Skies, Minotaur, and probably one more. Perfect. And uh, and he'll be back in two Yeah, that's weeks. the plan. Yeah, yeah. Get one more in before the holidays. And there they are. All the stuff's bouncing around. Hey. Awesome, RC70. So we'll uh, have a great weekend, everyone. And we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks so much, Bye-bye.